Live from the studios of KYMB Television in Monterey, California, it's Monterey on Tonight with Gary and Jules. Four hours of your favorite classic music videos from yesterday and today. Telephone and in-studio guests and a few surprises along the way. And now, here are your hosts, Gary and Jules. Well, hi, everybody, and good evening. Welcome. It's Monterey on tonight. It's 8 o'clock. We're here till midnight every Saturday night. I'm Gary. I'm Jules. And we're going to have a lot of fun and play some great music videos from our cool TV library. And uh, we're going to have some special guests in tonight. I understand, after all this time, Akram. <laughs> the mysterious Akram. From me and Ed's is actually going to make his first appearance on our program. He absolutely is going to be here. He, he promised said. he would be I've here. I've called him three times today. <laughs> Even as busy as he is at me and Ed's I think tonight. he's a little camera shy, so we're going to have to see how he how he uh, handles being on live TV. I'm sure he'll do great, but I'm I think sure he's he afraid will. of the camera. Sometimes people are. Yeah. Yep, they can talk in front of a lot of people, but when it comes to one camera and live TV, they get a little bit You know, nervous. Akram is from Egypt. I know. Did you know that? Yeah, from, uh, from I don't know if our Alexandria viewers know that. and Cairo. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to be asking him some questions tonight. And he has the most darling little girls. We had him on the show. We did. Yeah, they were we here did. a couple of weeks ago. And then we're, we've uh, already ordered our pizza, and if you'd like to order yours, the phone number is 831 No. Yes, area code 831, excuse me, 899-0101. We're Dave, in area code Dave 831. There we go. There it is. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and our first hour is brought to you by me and Ed's at the corner of Broadway in Fremont right here in Seaside. $10 pizza. $10 pizza. And you can have up to three toppings. It's large. They'll deliver for free uh, if you're within their delivery area. And it's yeah, just dynamite. And you know what, folks, we couldn't be doing this show. If it isn't, if it wasn't for folks like Akram and me and Ed's, we couldn't. So thank so you, Akram, thank you, Akram and, and thank you to everyone to all our sponsors who uh, who supports our sponsors. Absolutely. So, so we get to all the, music. the sponsors on the television station. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah. Which is Comcast Channel 19, right. MGM movies. KYMB. <laughs> all right. In honor of Mr. Akram. Who's going to be oh, here? Oh, that's true. That's why you brought up Egypt. Oh, yeah. I get it now. Sometimes we don't. You didn't see. figure no, it out. No, I huh? hadn't figured it In out. In honor of Mr. <laughs> Akram, we're going to kick off tonight's show with the Bengals, "Walk Like <laughs> an Egyptian." Here it is. And uh, in honor of Mr. Akram at uh, me and Ed's, "Walk Like an Egyptian." That was a great song. Yeah. From 1986. And tell me about the Bengals in 1986. Well, the the individual who wrote that song is named Liam Sternberg and he actually wrote the theme song if you remember the show 21 Jump Street yeah. that was a very popular uh, TV show well he wrote the theme song to that show and he wrote the theme song to Walk Like an Egyptian and he was inspired to write it after he was watching people on a ferry trying to walk and keep their balance that's what inspired the song and he tried to get Tony Basil to sing I that, remember to, her. to do that, to do the song you just heard, mm -hmm. and she passed on it. She did. Yes, and see, Tony Basil. Do you remember what song Tony Basil? Well, sang? I know she was uh, she was dressed in a cheerleader outfit, but I can't remember the. Video. Oh, Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Yeah. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so so fine. You blow my mind. That's it. That's the song. Yay, but she turned Mickey. it down. She and did. And so the Bengals. You Mistake. Know, yeah. Mistake. That was a big hit for. But the maybe Bengals. it wouldn't have been the same. Probably not. Well, anyway, so. it was great for these gals. So that is the story behind that song. And who was the lead uh, singer of the, was was the lead singer of the Bangles ever uh, a big star, or was that the Go-Go's? Go-Go's. Belinda Clark. That's Go-Go's. Go-Go's. It was the Go-Go's. Yeah. So no one here in this group went on as well, a single claim to fame. You'll have to go check that to out. to Google okay. and check that out. <laughs> You're giving me some extra homework, Gary. <laughs> so anyway, uh, welcome. If this is the first time you're watching our little show, Monterey on Tonight. We're live right here in the KYMB TV studios. You never know what's going to happen. You don't. And uh, we give things away. So uh, go to our website right now, kymbtv.com. There's a, a spot on the website where you can send us a message, send us your email address, and enter our contest no 
purchase is necessary. Yeah, and let us know where you're watching from. We always love hearing from our viewers. And actually, we've started to accumulate a lot of regular viewers we to our have, show now. We and we have. love to hear from them. Every week, they send us a note. And do us a favor. Tell a friend. Maybe they don't know about our show and they like these old classic videos from the 80s. That's kind of what we've kicked off our, our show with. And when we run out of all those 80s uh, videos, we'll move on into the 90s. Or, or the 70s. 70s. <laughs> we'll go one way or the other. <laughs> You're right. We, but or we, maybe we'll do a mix of both eras. So when you email us through our KYMB TV website, we enter you into a drawing. And that drawing uh, prize tonight, actually, there's two. We, we're going to give away two goodies two. tonight, huh? Two, ben two prizers, two as I say. Prizers, I love that. Two prizers. <laughs> ben Castillo, who is general manager of Lighthouse Cinemas, has graciously donated two tickets to their theater. It's a wonderful theater. Great, yes. And so we'll have that as a, as a prize. And then also, um, right here. $25 gift certificate from Susie Rodriguez from First Impressions oh, yes. Party Supply. Great. Which is a Monterey near the McDonald's. Over, oh, yeah. Over on Franklin. Yeah, you get a lot with that. $25. Hey, you bet. They have and all. If you haven't been into First Impressions, stop by. Your eyes won't know where to look first. I mean, there is so much in that store. And we want to thank our viewers for watching. We ran into uh, Captain Ben and Karen. We did. Uh, Captain uh, ben last Karen night. At, that was at such at a Mianets. nice surprise. Yeah. And they, if you haven't been into their shop uh, on uh, ten, American Ten Cannery. American Ten Cannery, and we have some exciting things coming from the American yes. Tin Cannery folks in the future. We can't, we can't talk it's about it. It's a surprise, it no, it's but absolutely they have the most darling shop, whether you're a local or you're watching us here because you're visiting in one of our wonderful hotels. Right. Uh, Captain Ben's is definitely a store you want to go Stop go by to. and say hi to Karen and Captain Ben. And if you brought your dog with you because you're visiting Monterey, there's a, a shop right down from them called Pep House. Pep House. Yes, and they do dog grooming and can make your dog all pretty. So well, you we're going to be talking beach. about all those folks here in the future. Yeah, but we want to thank them because they watch they watch our show both of them. They do. They do. And so I wanted to thank them for watching and our And Karen's show. from Fresno. I know. So I we know. we knew each other in in the past <laughs> years ago. <laughs> anyway, okay. okay. What's the next song uh, on the list. The Queen is on the Queen. next. <laughs> 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 It's not it. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not, not the it. queen? No, it's uh, called Queen. Oh, Queen, okay. You're uh, funny. Well, I just thought I'd throw that into And that is it. from 1981. And then actually we're going to play two together. After that will be Genesis, Land of Confusion, which oh, is a goodness. completely fun video. Okay. There's a little story behind that, too. So. All right. And we want to hear from you. Go to, uh, go to your computer right now and uh, shoot us off an email, kymbtv.com, and get in the contest tonight to win all the goodies. And stick with us for the next four hours. And okay? order your pizza. And order your pizza because <laughs> we already ordered ours. Here's Queen. That was a funny video. It really was. I forgot all about well, that. Well, you video. know, you know what? That in shot. There were a lot of people that weren't very happy at the time because really? it kind of made him poor Ronnie. Poor Ronnie. But you know, now it's it's cute. There's probably a lot of people right now watching the show, maybe, that don't even know who Ronnie was. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Our president. I'm sure they know that, the but 80s. they may not know he was an actor. Like Sarah, if Sarah right. Nicole was here, she wouldn't know he was an actor. And uh, they wouldn't know what he looked like either. So, by anyway. By seeing the that, puppets. Those puppets uh, were actually from a British television show called Spitting Image. And I guess Phil Collins had seen, seen the show. one puppet and said, hey, can you do my whole band? And then they did the video, which was brilliant. Yeah, That's just brilliant. That puppet that was Phil Collins in the group Genesis looked just like Phil Collins. It did. And you know what's interesting? Well, even Ronald Reagan looked like Ronald Reagan. It did. They were very, very... Uh, I didn't take a good look at Nancy. It looked like her, too. Did it? Oh, really? it did oh, really. Okay. Well, she had the little diver's mask on. But, you know, I really appreciate about these videos is the creativity that went into it. You don't really see as much effort and creative, you know, because they didn't have a lot of the CG special effects now they can do yes. pretty much anything and it looks so real so they actually had to because that wasn't available come up with alternative you're uh, right creative absolutely and i i thought the heart. music videos of the 80s were fantastic i yeah. really do i mean i was uh, glued to mtv when mtv hit too. the air in 1981 and uh, it's so great to go back into the archives and dig where out were you these at old, in 1981? I've asked, I, I've asked you I that know before. You told me but where were you? you? Were, uh, where, I was in Fresno. 
Of course getting, you were getting, in Fresno. Getting, no, getting, we're, we're, getting ready to... Did you uh, have Fatburger yet? Uh, no. The franchise? No, that didn't happen until 1986. Oh, okay. And the first station that I built in Fresno was 1985, so... And you had a vision for music videos That's what, that's what got me into this business, was the vision for music television. So if music television was launched in 81... On MTV. On MTV, which, by the way, that was right in there. 1986. Well, this is 86. The, the one before that was from 1981. Queen. Okay. The Queen. So... <laughs> so... so if MTV launched then, and you started working on your first TV station, what year? 1977. 77. And that took how many years to get the Seven permit? Seven years. To get the permit? Seven years. And then once you had the permit, how it many years? took another year and a half to make the station so from a the reality. So from the conception to actually on-air first TV, uh, eight and a half eight, years? Something like eight, eight, eight and, and, and a half years. Eight and a half years. And in 1977 is when you had the idea for music television. Are you doing an interview? Here? I am. Well, I think it's fascinating because, Gary, you had the idea for MTV way before. I'm, not, I'm supposed to ask the questions. Okay, ask yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to ask you if I don't? Nobody's here. <laughs> So I just wanted to bring no, out how no, brilliant I, I, you are. No, thank you. Because honey, you no, thought it, of it before MTV was on air. It, it was just a vision that I had that. that what really, were you going to you name went, your music video channel before? Well, our channel in Fresno at that time was 59, so we were going to be uh, M59 or Music 59. Oh, that's cool. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. A anyway, no, the, the vision was because I had seen the very first music videos on the Midnight Special. Oh, yeah. Burt yeah. Sugarman's Midnight Special on NBC that back in the 70s. Program. Great show with Wolfman Jack. Yeah. And, but there were the very first music videos on, on that show, and um, I thought, my goodness, if you can play music videos on television, why couldn't you have a station all day long and all night long that just played music videos? And then, of course, a few years later, there was MTV. They stole my idea. <laughs> And I was behind trying to get, your get my station on the air. Well, but, it wasn't easy. But speaking anyway, that's of, that's how I got into the TV and business. And speaking of, uh, of uh, TV stations, we just uh, did uh, read a report about the statistical information on TV station ownership by gender. Yes. And then also by uh, race and from the FCC. You're going to go to that FCC meeting in San Jose, aren't you? Stanford, honey. Stanford. Stanford. The, there is only less than... 13% of women women ownership in the television business nationwide. So see, if you guys out there, you women out there want to get into TV ownership, and then, call Juliana. And then Native Americans, it's at 0%, and that was a couple of years ago, this report. So I True. think I'm the first Native, Native American, American woman to ever have anything to do with media ownership in the television business. She was. In the whole United States. You know, it's going to be cool? fun. One of our guests tonight what? is Sean O'Callaghan from the radio days here in Monterey and um, a whole other uh, lifetime in radio and television. It's going to be interesting to talk with Sean. He's going to be our guest in the 9 o'clock hour. Uh, going to be interesting to talk with him what? about this business and where it's going and what's happening with iPods and the internet. We'll have him radio. on after uh, our pizza comes. Yes. And let's play one more song because when okay. Akram gets here, he's got that business to run. I want to be able to get him right on. Well, we're going to uh, do, uh, is it uh, Def Leppard? No. No? Okay, if it's in red, yes. that means we skip it because oh, it's hard sorry. rock. And I if it's see. yellow, <laughs> he always reads uh, the ones we skip. Okay. Well, but they're probably Def Leppard fans out Not, there. Honey, this isn't a hard rock show. <laughs> I like some of them, too. You see, Dave that, just went crazy. But, you know, we've done studies on our demographic, yeah. and the demographic age that watch our, our, show. our MGM movie channel is probably, well, we'll see. We'll take If you like Def Leppard, email us, and yes. then maybe we'll play it later. That's okay. right. There you go. KYME if TV you are a Def Leppard fan, and we get 100 emails tonight, we'll play Def Leppard. Okay, we're going to play right now the class. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're gonna play. The, we're gonna play the Clash and you two. Careful now. Okay. Sometimes the people step they up to those. They might do that. Huh? Those... Step up to those challenges. Okay. okay. Here we go. This is the Clash on Monterey on tonight. Okay. That was uh, the Clash. I wonder if they actually did that. No, that wasn't the Clash. Clash was before. Well, then. the Clash was before. Yeah, that was you too, honey. Oh, that was you too. Yeah. Where the streets have no name. See, this I is make mistakes. That was a good song. Good song. You yeah, like that one? Absolutely. You well, he finally oh, yes. he finally is here after <laughs> yeah. all this time. Some of people, some of our viewers have met him when we had our KYV get together. That's right. They have when we so, had a little but party. But some of our viewers. Maybe but this haven't. is the famous Akram. 
from me and Ed's Thank you. <laughs> in Seaside, California, at the corner of Broadway and Fremont. See, and there's the address on the screen. There's the address on the screen. And, you know, Akram, we want to thank you so much You're for bringing, first of all, the pizza to yeah, us tonight. We have, uh, we have got a show to everybody. We yeah, have, uh, go ahead and pull it up, and, a, and Dave uh, will get a uh, shot of good, it there. Good-looking pizza. What kind of yeah, pizza did you bring us tonight? half combo, half veggie, and uh -huh. it's uh, just made about 10 minutes ago. I can and smell it. it here myself, <laughs> and you're going to love it. It tastes great, and uh, it's an awesome pizza. It's an awesome Me and Ed's pizza. is such a special pizza, and of course, uh, because we come from the valley, we, yes. we know Me and Ed's for years and years and years yes, in the Syracuse Valley. it's been around for a long time. And Juliana's uh, favorite. In fact, before you were here, yes. we would bring the pizza from Fresno. Yes, through Los Banos. That's yes. what was my store there, too. You were in Los Banos well, sometimes for, we'd for stop 12 in, years. Sometimes yes. we'd stop in Los Banos if we were driving, and if we were flying, I'd put it in the wing of the airplane <laughs> and on the way. But you yeah. know what? My, my very earliest childhood memories was me and Ed's. Yes, me because and Ed's getting together with the group, I was very, very small, and they had the jukebox going, and they dance, and it was just it's so fun. It's a great fun. place. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, uh, and I, think it's awesome. I think it's catching on because we were there last night, there was hardly a table a place, to find. There wasn't a place to yeah, sit. It was we were so very, very, packed. very busy. I'm still tired. It's been, <laughs> it was, it was just awesome night. You were, night. as they say in very the restaurant nice, business, yes. slammed. Yes, yes. It was. Well, we that's were very, great. Very we're busy so all night. It was keep going. Even you guys left earlier. Well, we are so happy that busy. people are finally finding me and Ed's. And yes. you know what? I'll tell you that. That ten dollar three topping pizza yeah, yeah, is yeah. gonna bring them in. As it long as doing, you keep it's doing huge, that, it's huge. It's huge. People like it, and it's fun, and uh, bringing a lot of people in and interested, and they love the pizza. Just get a lot of choices. And now we were talking before we went on air. We'd really like um, you to know that the viewers are watching and they support local business. So if they want more toppings and a bigger pizza than the ten dollar three topping, oh absolutely. If they absolutely. want something we'll else, work it out for them, yeah. what what can you do? Gary came up with this well, idea. Well, what what I asked Akram when he walked in tonight to the studio is, if there are folks who are watching our show right now tonight and they're hungry, and they say, you know what, that pizza looks great. Uh, Let's call up me and Ed's. Well, here's the thing. If you'll go into me and Ed's and, and you'll walk up, because yes. Akram is we'll going right it. back to the store as soon as he leaves us. If you'll walk up to Akram and say to Akram, I saw you on television, and what's the special deal tonight, Akram? Akram? Uh, you know, just come in and... You get it for half price. Half price. Off half the price. regular price. Off the regular and price. We, so we, let's say you want an extra large 10 topping veggie deluxe or a combination deluxe. It'll be 50% off the regular, the regular price. price. The regular price. You, you know, uh, but yeah. you have to ask for it. Special that will take care of you. We'll okay. make it happy and we'll make it going. See that? Yes. So Absolutely. ask for Absolutely. But they have to come into the store. No uh, ordering and delivery on this one. You this have is to a look special because you got to look this guy in the eye and say, I saw you on TV. <laughs> I want that special. Okay? No problem. No problem You'll no. do that no for us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So we got to let him go back to the store. Yes. Akram, after all this time, thank you for being here. You're tonight. welcome. I'm, I'm happy to be here and thank you guys for and helping us out. And, uh, Make it a very special night. Last night was great. You guys were there, and uh, yeah, we so we love to see you busy. People. It was great. It was and great. as as Sarah, our daughter, says, yes. it ain't dorm room pizza. That's true. Very <laughs> That's high absolutely true. Pizza. high absolutely true. High quality pizza. It's the best. At it's me and best. and I'm proud of it. And I like the frosty mugs. Yes. Beer. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which Absolutely. we ordered last night. Yes. We ordered Frosty yes. Mug beer. Down, Okay, we walk. have to let him get back to the store because he's short-handed as it is. So we're going to get back to the music videos. Anything? I got nothing. Pencils! Yes! I want the pizza! Had to work late again. No, don't wait dinner. I'll just grab something. It's a taste worth working late for. Pizza's made to a higher standard. Me and Ed's, two fun guys, one serious pizza. Well, wasn't that great to finally get Akram in the studio that from was me fun. and Ed's? He and was so, remember we said I thought he was camera shy? He is. He's he was shy. so nervous, but and he did And a little great. nervous, but he did great. You know, it's only television, folks. You know what, um, just to give you a little behind the scenes, so many of our guests, before when they get here, before they get here, they always say, 
what are you going to ask me? What are you going to ask me? We're like, we're not going to ask you any questions you don't already know the answer to. <laughs> it's like That's the secret. <laughs> don't so. ask questions that they don't have the answer to. <laughs> so, anyway, anyway uh, me and Ed's, uh, you guys take that uh, challenge tonight from me and go on into me and Ed's at uh, Broadway and, and uh, Fremont here in Seaside. They stay open late, so if you're watching us from Santa Cruz or Capitola, it's worth the trip. It's it is. Such, it's so much fun. great pizza. You know, I, I dare say it's the best on the Monterey Peninsula. And I know there are a lot of pizza uh, establishments out there. That on are Television very good. Land. They're very good. But uh, I'll tell you. There's it, nothing that it's like um, It's like the best. Uh, if, if we were going to be blindfolded and had <gasps> to eat pizza. Speaking of which, the Monterey Herald is having a contest right now. That's right. They are. They are having a contest for everyone to vote. For their favorite. their favorite pizza. Yes. And it's going to be on for the next two weeks, this contest. So on Monday, I will put the address on our website at KYMB TV. It's okay, Davey. He, he's busy doing something. You don't have to. Anyway, here he goes. He's so good about this. Yeah, he okay. was going to. You go to our website and click on the feedback form and um, let us know that you're watching, but also on the website, there's a little tab at the top. It says, click here for more information about Monterey on tonight. And when you do that, it takes you to our show page. And right now we have a photo of our uh, photo contest. Photo contest right? from Ma um, Matt, the waiter. Matt the Waiter. You know, it's we'll a, be here later tonight. And th that contest is about, you know, where is this photo taken in Monterey? But uh, on Monday, we'll have the new photo up, but we're also going to have the email address of the Monterey Herald. Uh, I guess it's the poll taker for the best pizza on the peninsula. And we really want to keep Akram in business. He's local. It's a it's a great family location. Last night when we went to me and Ed's, there were these they have these long tables and then they have booths. But the, the, what's great about their tables is if you you know invite ten of your friends, you can just start stacking the tables together. That's and what please, we did. Yeah, and we saw that a lot last night. There yeah. were baseball teams. There were several large group families and and I love the music they have. Kids. They oh, have yeah. the jukebox on. Yeah. There's even some eighty songs and TVs. They had the TVs They've going. Got, uh, five or six TVs. So, so you know, if there's a game on, you guys want to watch the game, you can do that. So you were going to say, and I'm so sorry I interrupted you about the challenge, Akram. About the going challenge to is that if you'll go in now, right now, to me and Ed's at uh, Broadway in Fremont, and uh, tell the folks you saw Akram right here on our show tonight. 50% off the regular priced items on the menu. So look up at the menu board and Akram, say, Akram, I saw you on TV, 50% off. Get the largest pizza they had. Get the extra large pizza because you're going to want to take it home. You've got two peop two uh, groups of people. And get Akram, two large said, Akram said on the way out the door that that offer is going to be good until next Saturday night. So but you got to you got to go see Akram. You have to ask for him directly. You can't right. talk to anybody else. You might want to call them ahead of time, make sure he's in. Because right. between 3 and uh, 4... Sometimes he's not there. So if you go in and he's not there, there's no deal. Yeah. Yeah, but tonight he's there. <laughs> but he's there tonight. He's there and tonight. he's there most of the time. He's I think my... I think he has a room in the back where he That's actually sleeps really there, too. That's a really good deal, though. 50% off. 50% off. Anything regular price. Uh, yeah. Pizza. 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 Okay. Okay. So... Uh, great music here tonight uh, from uh, our cool TV music library. And we're going to now move into... Um, Asia. Asia, This yeah. is a great, great song. Only time will tell. Let's see if you remember this one. And Madonna. Borderline. Borderline from 1984. Boy, I'll tell you, you know, she's had a lot of hits. She has. And then Lots before that... Oh, one of my favorites. It was. She blinded me with science. Well, Thomas Dolby. That song was playing. The music in our studio went way up. I turned the <laughs> volume way up. That was uh, by Thomas Dolby. Yeah. And he actually uh, wrote that, meaning that it's when you deliberately try to confuse someone by exhibiting or giving them uh, the, the impression, impression of, of highly high complex knowledge. knowledge. She blinded me with science. Great video. And before that, Asia. And uh, that one, uh, Only Time Will Tell, back to 1982. Uh, that was their third single uh, by the progressive rock band, Asia. Asia. And we haven't heard much from them. No, I haven't. you really don't hear too much about 
the groups, they, they come and then they There's go. There's a few that stick around long term, but not many. Not you know, many. I was on Yahoo's site, music site, the other day. Were you? And I went through all of the list of the artists of today. Okay. And I have to be honest with you. I don't know too many of them. Do you? Oh, of today? No. The artists of today. Not too many. You know, what I'll do next week is uh, I'm going to print out a page. And name them off. And then I'm going to name them and off. And see how many we recognize. <laughs> <laughs> and see how many in our audience know who they are. Okay, that's That way good. we can kind of get a demographic I, I get age you. of our audience. Most of our audience that's actually written in an email actually recognize most they of They recognize our 80s music. Yeah, they definitely So that kind of tells us how old they if are. If you're watching for the very first time tonight, we want to welcome you. Because Absolutely. we are here every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to midnight live right from our KYMB studios. And we play... Uh, music from a variety of eras. Now we're focused on the 80s, and we have in-studio guests that are very special and phone call guests and prize giveaways. We have so much fun, and we we're don't We're going to do that tonight. We are. We're going to have a... Do you, know, a, do you remember what we're giving away? I remember that we're going to give away First Impressions $25 gift certificate. Right, for party supplies. For party supplies and over also, on East Franklin. Two, and also two tickets to Lighthouse Cinema. So Lighthouse Cinema is over in Pacific Grove. You have to remember to say in Pacific, Pacific Grove because they need all the help they can get. Support local business. And right. that, um, if you'd like to enter that drawing, go to our website at kymbtv.com. We have a feedback form. We'd love to hear from you. We're the show that gives stuff away. <laughs> all night long. I don't think those other TV stations are giving stuff away, are they? Well, it, sometimes. Do they? Sometimes. And I know that the Friday night radio show on KNRY, Frankie Knight. Yeah, Frankie and? They, and Tara McCabe. They Frankie actually. Tara. They uh, were our guests here a couple they weeks were, ago. They were, and they give stuff away. They give uh, they give stuff to like Slime but that's Flies. radio. Sure, but I wanted to give her a plug. Oh, yeah. They no, give us a plug. That's Friday nights from 8 to 10. Right. No. 7 to 9 or 8 to 10? 7 to 9. 7.05 7 to, to 9. To 9, okay. KNRY, uh, 1240 AM, historic radio, <laughs> KNRY. A, I love it when he does that. He used to be a dish hockey, can you tell? KNRY. <laughs> so we have uh, our next guest in the studio, Sean O'Callaghan. Sean O'Callaghan. Speaking of radio, Sean is in the studio. With a very interesting background. Yeah, very we're interesting. So and we're going to talk to Sean about the radio business in this market and several markets around California and what's going on. And talking about radio, you know, uh, our friend Jim Vossen. Next week? Going to be on, uh, I think, next week or the week after. Did you say the first or the eighth? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I have to, I'll have to double check. But Jim is involved in a new station that's going to be changing formats over um, at 1200 AM very okay. soon. Okay. Super. So, well, we'll uh, have he'll, to. He'll be telling you folks about what's going on there. Uh, and I think at least maybe our audience is going to like what's happening. Great. So. Great. Okay. Back Can we go back to the to music? The music and we are going to play, speaking of uh, music, this is one from um, George Thorogood. Bad to the Bone. I love this video, it too. It was uh, released in 1982, and this wasn't a really big hit, but it's very well remembered because it MTV played it very heavily. And uh, it was created a year before... Uh, and just taking off. Actually, so it was a year old when MTV got it, and then it was recognized. So here it is. George yeah, there Ford. it is. Bad to the bone. And uh, Sean O'Callaghan just yes. uh, just said, uh, you know, uh, who did the original version? And Dave looked it up on the computer. Bo, Bo Diddley. Diddley. Yeah. And that was Bo Diddley in the music And video. Bo Diddley oh, was, he was in, in there too. He was, he in, was the in the video. Yeah, he was in the video. Oh, too cute. How about that? Welcome, Sean. Sean O'Callaghan. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Very nice to be here. And very I nice love that. Anyway. I love that radio voice. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it show? <laughs> <laughs> you 53 very years, nice. it should show You've by You've been now. doing it a while. And, you know, uh, you yeah. know what? We miss you on the radio. 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. K-I-D-D. Magic, right? Right. It was Magic 63, right? And you were there now a long, long time playing Great music. Well, I started my... filling in for uh, Ed Dickinson back when Ed used to take his vacations, which he did a lot. Um, <laughs> and I used to fill in on the weekends and then eventually worked into doing a regular show every day, Monday through Friday. And you so, enjoyed that immensely, yeah, fun, I would yeah. think? Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was, it was the music that I played, uh, you know, 
the first time around I played it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm playing it again, yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> but it was so it was it was all right. Yeah, it was fun. You know, it, there was uh, a lot of uh, feedback in the Monterey Herald when uh, KIDD Magic sixty three mm -hmm. changed formats. Do you remember that? Yeah. And uh, a lot of uh, a lot I was of disappointed. Well, even I, I liked. I really I was liked disappointed. It. I really and uh, liked it. I know it was. Um, a decision made by management yeah. uh, because, uh, and, and you and I have talked about this in the past, it's getting harder and harder to sell advertising to the demographic that that kind of music appeals to. Well, originally the station, I think when it first went on the air, was like they figured the demographic was something like 55 to maybe 62. And by the time it had gone through this transition, we're talking a period of probably six or seven years, eight, ten years maybe, the demographic had gotten up closer to 70 years of age. And let's face it, there aren't a lot of people around that are 70 years of age. And that 70 year um, in that age category. And so it's very difficult to have a decent rating if yeah. you don't have a lot of those people. Right. I mean, it's just a matter of economics after a while. And I, I know there were a lot of very unhappy people. I got emails from a lot of my <laughs> friends saying, what happened what to my happened radio station? To, what happened to my radio station? What yeah. happened to my music? You know, there's got to be a way, though, Sean. Uh, and maybe there is today with the internet, and I know that was one of the subjects that we wanted to, to talk about tonight, to give people that kind of music. Now, can they go to the internet today and get that kind of music? Well, I don't know if it's the internet so much as it is those uh, satellite. Uh, satellite radio. Yeah, yeah, the satellite things. I mean, there's there's got to be a format for almost everything, and of course the beauty of those formats is there's no talk, or little or no talk. Mm -hmm. And so that's it's just that constant play of music. But I think that there is, there is a format for that. One of the places does that. Um, but quite honestly, I don't think <laughs> it's hardly a broadcast station in all of Northern California that plays the stuff that Magic can you give us an example to, to our viewers of some of the songs? Yeah, yeah. That, so that what, what kind of the, the, the music that you were playing? The big was it big band primarily? Well, primarily, yeah, it was big band. We played a lot of things. For, uh, we played the Glenn Miller Orchestra. We played the oh, Patty Page, the nice. uh, uh, Doris Day, obviously, and we did the Doris Day birthday thing you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, Ed Dickinson did that just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he had a, a birthday Saturday celebration, which is, has been an annual event. Uh, on Magic 63, and he did that again, even though the format at that station is now sports. Ed yes. still continues to do his show. <laughs> yeah, on the weekends. He's there on the weekends. Yeah, he's there Saturday and Sunday. And I'm so happy that he's there. Yeah. yeah. See, so he maintains it. Ed's part of the format, however, I think goes back a little bit farther. He goes back sometimes into the 1920s and 30s. Wow. We didn't play that. Uh -huh. We played... 40s, 50s, 60s, yeah, yeah, we played more, we played a lot of the 40s, the big band things and stuff, you know, because there was an appeal to that and an audience for that music. And um, it just, it went away because, as I say, the demographic got so much older, there just wasn't any place Well, for I think it. there's a mistake somewhere in their surveys because I like that listen that to that music and I know quite a bit of it because I was around when my grandfather and my mother yeah. listened to that music. I know who the Glenn Miller band, and it's not my generation. Yeah, yeah. So I think I, no, that right. I think that there is a bit of a misconception that the people that appreciate that music are now at a certain age bracket when I'm there and I like it. Well, so. I think well it it can, um, it can be recycled. It's coming it back. There's a lot can. of people. Yeah. My daughter for example, my daughter's 36 years old. She absolutely loves Tony Bennett. Yeah, yeah I do going, too. You like Tony Bennett? What yeah. What, yeah, what is that? It's <laughs> romantic. It's an era that's lost in this yeah. generation. The romance and the chivalry, chivalry, am I saying that correctly? Yeah, yeah. You know, and the, you know, to be a hero and to be courted, that's all gone. And that's in the early movies and it's in the early music. Unfortunately, I, I think, though, it, it comes down to, and we talked about this briefly off the air, uh, a matter of economics. Yes. That's you know, they, they, the problem is with most of the radio stations, AM, FM, whatever they are, they they probably started out, you know, somebody paid $35,000 and bought a studio or did a radio station. And... Here it is, 35, 40 years later, they sell it for $62 million. That's true. This is a real example of something Very that true. happened in San Jose. $62 million, and the people who bought it really didn't care that much about radio. They were buying up radio stations left and right, and they sold it for $126 million. Ooh. Now, you wow. can imagine what, and over a period of about three years, yeah. so you can imagine what kind of a debt service those people have. Yeah. So what do they do? Obviously, they change format, they automate it, they do whatever they can, to make more money at it, to pay that debt service. And it's tough. It is tough.
very, very tough to to uh, to make money in the broadcasting business today because it, it, there are so many ways now mm -hmm. to get your music. Yeah. You've got iPods. You've got the satellites, as yeah. you said. You've got the internet. Yeah. Um, so a lot of competition out there. But I think the quality, it's not the same as when you've got the format that, that you had and you were a part of that went away. It, there's a certain inherent quality with it. Just like with local programming, local shows. Not a lot of TV stations do local shows. Well... But but there's such there's something about it. There's that something about live television like we're doing well, right right here tonight. The other thing that you said, the key word there is local, because if you listen to any of these radio stations that are being programmed by somebody in New York or Chicago or Detroit or wherever, and they've got automated guides, the guy does the same show in eleven different markets. He doesn't know where Monterey is. He doesn't even care where Monterey is. Yeah. He's got something pre-recorded that he does, and there is no local attachment. There is no real talent. Somebody talking about the guy walking down the street, or like you bringing in, you know, and uh, you know somebody from the pizza place because they don't do that anymore. It's all so very. It's well, we're butter. hoping to break the mold. Yeah, we <laughs> want to. So. We want to go back. We want to go back to the way things used to be, and uh, kind of a, as David Bernal said, throwback. We want to do some throwback. And speaking about throwback, we TV. have one song that we want to play and come back and talk to Sean. All but right. before we do, you yeah. you need to let the viewers know about the email that we got. Oh, um, that's right. right here Where it is? Oh, okay. Yes. We thank you so much uh, for reminding me, Jules. Okay. We got an email from uh, Karen and Captain Ben. We were talking about them earlier. And the American Tin Cannery. They're over at ATC, American Tin Cannery, over in, is that Pacific Grove? Have we crossed the line, or is it still Monterey? It's, uh, it's Pacific Grove. Pacific Grove, Grove. okay. But so it's they're bo right on the border line. It's right, it's right by the uh, uh, Monterey, uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yeah. Right but so. uh, they're in the American Tin Cannery, and Karen and Captain Ben would like to offer a $25 gift card to our viewers tonight. So we're drawing. We've got another. Drawing. So in addition third. to the other two that we're going to, we're going to have a third giveaway tonight. So go to your computers right now. Go to our website, kymbtv.com, and uh, register. There's no purchase necessary. And it's a really neat store because they have a lot of nautical items. Yeah, it's a great and store. And a lot of nautical uh, artwork. And, 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 and the price point is very, very fair. I mean, it's... For very, the fair. very fair for what the quality of the merchandise. So. so take a take a peek over at Captain Ben's at ATC, and we're going to give away a $25 gift certificate tonight at the end of our show. So go like to kymbtv.com and enter. There it is on the uh, screen right okay. now. And, Sean, we'll come back and talk more about radio so and what you're here. up to okay. these yeah. days. Yeah. I'll stay. And this is you. going to be heart. Heart. This All righty. Uh, that was heart, and you got to have a lot of heart. Uh, that's a song, isn't it? You gotta have heart. All you really need is heart. That's it. Yeah. When the, so when I the, don't remember the, the rest of the words, but <laughs> when the odds are saying you'll, you'll never, never win, win, that's when, when you, the grin should start. There you I'm go. I'm at a loss. How I have about that? Zero idea what you're. <laughs> well, you, you got her surrounded. <laughs> you get a couple of guys with gray hair, and that's what happens. Hey, yeah. that's how I learned. I gotta catch some of this wisdom that comes through. Really or as right you there. say, silver hair. That's it. It's not great. It's silver. It's true. Silver. Silver. Anyway, we're talking with Sean O'Callaghan. Sean's uh, many years in the broadcasting business, both radio and television, reminiscing about uh, the time that he spent at uh, KIDD Magic 63 right here in Monterey. And we were also talking about some of the things that are taking place right here on the Monterey Peninsula and radio. As you know, uh, KRML has a new owner. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. 14. But is it announced who it is yet? No, they haven't announced. But you know what but, I you heard? Gotta, yeah, when Gary comes on, Gary Hamada, who is our um, regular uh, Saturday night guest uh, from uh, for Locals Only, and Gary did a radio show for many years on KRML. Uh, but he oh. said that KRML had a somebody doing sales already, and if they do... Then they, then they, uh, then the they must new have owner a new must owner must have taken over, or they've just putting everything in place. Or they, they are, yeah. But um, you know, it's as we were saying earlier, Sean. It's really difficult today in the broadcasting business with a lot of the fragmentation that's gone on. Yeah. Multiple yeah. television channels now. As I was telling you, we have four streams. We could do six streams of video with our one channel. Uh, another channel in the in the works in the market. For another six streams, that means that eventually we could, in fact, have 12, 12 channels of television oh oh in the boy. Monterey market <laughs> with the two channels that we have here. But that's a, uh, lot, of that's a lot of television. But uh, radio uh, with uh, satellite and the internet, uh, there's fragmentation there as well. Yeah. 
So how do you get ratings today? If you're uh, in the radio business today, how do you get ratings? What do you do? Well, I think they almost have to go back to the beginning again. They almost have to start all over again because going back to the days when you localize it and you have people locally, you interview people, you talk to people. You Is have that sub- what we're doing right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you have, well, you have subject matter that, yeah. you know, that yeah. applies to the local people. I mean, otherwise, everything is, like I said, it's kind of cookie cutter because they, they apply here what works in Pittsburgh, Chicago, New York, Detroit, and Philadelphia, and Kansas City, and other small, Chapeka, and it doesn't work always in this in a market like this. That is the, do you care what's going on in Topeka, Kansas? You know, yeah, I mean, you don't. And they don't specifically get into things like that. But it's so general that they don't, there's no, you know, let's get down to f- facts and figures and talk about what's going on well, in the Central Coast. Well, especially like uh, Monterey is so uh, well known for the jazz. Yeah, Monterey the, Jazz. The, the, blue, the blues festival, the jazz festival. Right. And so that's inherent within the Monterey culture, as you, you'd say, mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. uh, they wouldn't understand that in another market. In no, they don't market. Well, it's, yeah, that's Bringing it, that, the, the artists on. Right, that, yeah. right. That, that's, yeah. It doesn't, that doesn't play in their market. It plays here. It plays here. So, Sean, you're saying that if someone here in the Monterey market had a radio station that was local, 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 local. Now, isn't that really what Jim Boston's is doing, doing at KNRY? Well, I don't know. I'm not familiar with what KNRY is doing. I think you've got to do two things. You've got to have you've got to have the personality on there too. You can't do the cookie cutter thing, which is every every. If you listen to, I mean, it drives me crazy. It's like listening. I, you know, I was born and raised and studied television in, in, in college. You wait for that laugh track. I can't stand yeah. television shows with laugh <laughs> tracks. Laugh so, That'd so our idea of having a laugh track added. No. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, as a humorist, <laughs> don't I, add any laugh tracks. Okay, I thought promise. for just as a joke, that would be fun yeah. for Dave to push the button. Yeah. No, but okay. But what I'm saying is, it's phony. Is, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is. is. You're so right. Phony. It's phony. Yeah. It's it's not real. And and I think you need you get cookie cutters where people the first thing you, out of every piece of music on a radio station you got to say the call letters and give the punchline whatever the format is of the station and then you go into some innocuous thing or commercials and you come back and don't forget to give the call letters and go back into the next piece of music. Yeah. It's cookie cutter. Everything's yeah, the same. Is. There's no originality. The, the disc jockeys have absolutely no personalities. They're about as, you know, kind of bland. I hate to bring that up as top of this table. You know, I mean, it's a, <laughs> really. I mean, there, there's no, nobody gets a chance to talk about what they want to talk about. Now, I do think uh, you'll really be impressed with what KNRY is doing. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I, so. I, I think if we'll, we'll do is spend an afternoon together and we'll okay. and, and we'll send you the website link. And Jim's going to be our guest here in the yeah, next couple of weeks talking have, about his new project. So they well. stream the, the, the sound on... They stream the okay. sound on on uh, the internet. Uh, so KNRY is available on the internet. And they also... Right. Oh, that's true. You could listen on the internet. And they also, okay. they also do a show uh, in the Amp Studio, uh, which is simulcast. They do a, a talk show from 5 to 6 o'clock, Monday through Friday, your town. And uh, so that's local. So I think Jim's got the he, I message. Think, but you I know think what, though? He is the exception. He is the he exception. Is actually, just yeah. like what Sean's saying. It's, you don't see it very often because yeah. it's hard work. And it's it is hard very work. market hard. needs at least one. Yeah. Yes. But it's, <laughs> Come on. It's so hard. It's well, so hard to get the viewers or the listeners to go ahead and... and uh, go into pay, the advertisers. The advertisers. Like, yeah. like you guys have to go into me and Ed's tonight and say, Akram, I want the 50% and now, percent deal. Ola. We're, Ola's our new sponsor for the hour. Oh, that's right. That's right. We're in Ola's time. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's it's, okay. We're going we to we'll give, we'll give Ola an extra half hour. Okay. At the barnyard. At the barnyard. In Carmel. That's our okay. sponsor for this hour. Oh, okay. See, every <laughs> hour. Well, here's how we did on me, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, every hour we get someone to sponsor our show. Okay. Uh, the first hour is me and Ed's Pizza over at Broadway and and uh, Fremont in Monterey. Then the second hour is Ola in the barnyard over in Carmel. Okay. The third hour is and Alberto. Alberto's Ristorante in Pacific Grove, all restaurants. Okay. And the fourth hour is Jose's Underground over down on Wave Street on Canary Row. Oh. So that's how we okay. pay for the show. Well, we, we have, have a lot of supplemental sponsors that have come on board, like Lighthouse Cinemas. Right. Yeah. You know, that have come on board, and we've got more coming along. We so. do. We yeah. do. And you're See, looking for more hours. And obviously, <laughs> we, are, we always are. are. Anyway, it's been fun. Thank you so much for coming in. So what's new cooking? What's, what's cooking? Yeah. What's cooking? Well, there's you some don't, things. You're, you're, you, you come to the area, but you actually live in... I live in San Jose. San Jose. Yeah. Yeah. And how are the sharks doing? <laughs> He's, Excuse he's been me, getting, my daughter just buzzed me. Yes. She said, uh, Wahoo, Sharks win 5-2. to two. Oh, all right. I will be there 
next week when they start the next round. Oh, well, you know what? One of the last hey. games that they See played, that? Uh, Overtone. Were you there at the game when Overtone? Uh, Dina Eastwood is the manager for the group of boys, and they sang the national oh, anthem. Oh no, I didn't go to that game. No, I yeah. I so that. yeah, I heard they a lot the of national anthem. The, yeah. yeah, the 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 Overtone group is just dynamite. They were. So. I, well, I saw it on television. They did. They, they they did that particular portion of it on TV. Yeah, yeah. but they have. But I. Uh, yeah. they, well, the your talent. Sharks won tonight. Well, had five to two. She That's said. That's great. Okay. Yeah. See, this is what's great about live TV, folks, because yeah. you get just, up to the had, minute. All he had to do was pull out his uh, cell phone. And <laughs> my daughter knows how to do that. And she look works at the with text Cisco. She's got it down. She had it letter for letter right uh, here. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much. Thank uh, you very much for, for the coming invitation. In. And we, we have to do this again. Okay. Spend some Love time to. and uh, talk about the biz, and uh, who knows what will happen. I agree. Okay. Thank you very much for the invitation. Hey, it's thank great. you for being here. It was really a pleasure having someone from the biz on the show. <laughs> anyway, okay, what's the next video, Jules? Dave, is it Rock the Casbah by The Clash? The Clash. The Re Clash. Released in 1982. Well, you know what? I have to admit that video that we just saw was not one that I recognized. I honestly did it not It was Haircut 100 and Love Plus One, and I do not remember seeing that. So I don't, I don't know how that but got But you know what? It reached number 37. It was the only song that they were uh, known for. And it reached numbers 37? Yeah. On what? On the top 100. You're kidding. No, wow. and before that was China Girl, which was co-written by David Bowie and Iggy Pop. Who's Iggy Pop? Uh, he was, a, uh, he was an artist from I recognize that the era. name, but yeah. it's during their years in Berlin, and it was not popularized until it was recorded and released by Bowie in 1983. And he decided to put it on his album when Pop, his old friend and music collaborator, was in financial straits. Iggy. Yeah, and was close to facing bankruptcy, so that's why um, David decided to release the song on the Let's Dance uh, uh, album so yes. that Iggy could collect half the royalties and kind of help him through this really tough... Wasn't that nice Wasn't of that David sweet? Bowie? Yeah, I thought that, that was, was really, really nice sweet. David Bowie and it was uh, primarily shot in the uh, Chinatown district of Melbourne and on a houseboat in Sydney, Australia. Isn't See, I never would have known that if you hadn't gone on to but Google. But what a nice guy, huh? He did that yeah. for his friend. And, and by the way, we want to, what? And I was going to say, and before that, we had The Clash and Which Rock was, the Casbah. Oh, that was fun. That was a great song. Rock the Casbah. That's one of those you play twice. Okay? If you just happened to be dialing through the channels. And we've had viewers email us. We, I, I got one right here. And someone, said, someone said that they were just dialing through tonight, and they saw us surfing. for the very first time. Yeah. And if you just happen to be doing that, uh, and you came upon our show, uh, you're watching Monterey on tonight. And we are live. We do this every Saturday night. We have since uh, the end of February of uh, this year. And uh, we just love to do this and have fun and talk about all our sponsors. Having fun is, is exactly what we do. And our sponsor for this hour is Ola over in the barnyard. Uh, we have to uh, talk about them. Do you okay. have their special? I do. I have it. They have Hot Hot Tuesday Nights, which is half off the entire food menu. And on Fridays, Mondays and Fridays, so just remember the beginning of the week and the, and end, the end of the, of the week, week, between 11 and 4 and Hot Hot Tuesday Nights, you can get anything on their food menu for half Price. That's a great deal. That's a great deal. And another thing about Ola that's very special and exciting is last month we uh, had our first KYMB get together for our viewers and our sponsors and a just mixer. our staff. It's we a mixer. Had a mixer. And we're going to do that every month to support local business and support our local clients. And we had it at me and Ed's, and we actually have the date now. We do. And we will post this on our website on Monday. But the date is Friday, May 14th at Ola Mexican Restaurant in the Barnyard. And Bernadette's going to be giving us some really great deals with some uh, happy hour drinks. And it'll be probably between, I would say, 5.30. It's between the happy hour. But I think I'm gonna, I've got to call into her because I want her to extend the special. Sure, so for they'll us. go a little bit later. Yeah, so we can kind of stay and enjoy the specials. And then she's going to have appetizers there for us as a courtesy. And a special deal Yeah. for our yeah. So we'll have more viewers. information, but if you want to go ahead and plug that date on your calendar, yeah. May 14th. May 14th. And before then, if you'd like to uh, go ahead and go in, go on a Tuesday night or a Monday or a Friday lunch, and be sure to mention KYMB TV and get half off the food menu item. Yeah. Did we and, talk about... And also, next week, Denise and Richard, who own Ola, are going to be guests on our show. Great. 
Wonderful. Did we talk about the marathon yet? No. The Big Sur Marathon? Uh -uh. That's coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow. And if you're over in Carmel tomorrow, remember Highway 1 is closed, closed from Rio Road. Which your mom Road. lives there, so you She's had to make sure She's out in the meadows there. And, um, groceries, so huh? Have to make sure. And don't that they open it up after the afternoon? Yeah, it opens in the afternoon. But, but if you're going that direction tomorrow, remember the marathon. And what a beautiful weekend we should have. I should tell you. Weather-wise uh, for the marathon. 68 degrees tomorrow. 68, Especially, wow. And when the sun comes out and you're standing in the sun or like them, running in the sun, it feels warmer than I think 68. That's going to be you? just perfect weather. And another thing is I wanted to thank our uh, viewer, Gloria George, who's watching. Yes, hi, and Gloria. And she said hello, and she is the owner of Travel Host Magazine. Yes. And if Dave can switch to camera two, you don't have to really zoom, but just because we'll do this next week. Ah. There <laughs> okay, it is, you're there on. We go. Travel Host Magazine, this is a really great magazine. Whether you're a local or you're watching us in the hotel room, uh, be sure and pick this up. And as a matter of fact, on the, I love this. Look what she did on the first page. Our Coastal Television Coastal Network. Coastal Television Network, the that? markets that we're in. We air Coastal TV Network in six markets outside of California to promote tourism. We also run um, programming from NOAA about ocean preservation, and then we run classic television for yesteryear. So it's something that we're trying to do in addition to our local channel here on Comcast, which we run MGM Movies. We're also doing, as a separate business, Coastal TV Network. Right. And it's been really exciting. It's not anything that's ever been done before. We're programming we're six markets. Six markets, and we program it seven Days a week, 24 hours a day, right here from our Monterey studio. And it streams on the internet, uh, too. It streams on the internet. CoastalTVNetwork.com. And hopefully, we've, we're working on being able to build our sponsor base so that we can uh, release the network uh, outside of California within the next couple of years and be able to send it nationwide to any broadcaster that's interested in it. Yeah. So it's it's actually something really exciting. Going to bring we, folks into the So we want to thank Peninsula. Gloria George. She'll be a guest thank you, here. Gloria. Hopefully, I, I was going to call her today, but hopefully I'm going to see if she can come on next weekend with us so we can talk about Super. this. So It's also a good opportunity to say hi, Mom. Hi, Daverly. Hello. Right. And, uh, right. They're watching tonight. They ordered and the pizza I, they tonight. They did. That's what Akram said. They had their pizza. Your mom is happy. Yeah. Happy me and Ed's pizza be. over at Mom's tonight. Great. Yeah. Well, let's get back to the music. Okay. Sounds uh, good. We are uh, waiting for Mr. Hamada, who will be here Actually, in the anytime. 10 o'clock hour. Yes. And we'll find out what Gary has to Say about what's going on. Well, actually, on the we've peninsula. got a, um, he's got a phone guest tonight. Oh, a phone guest tonight. That's yes, right. Yes, a very okay, special cool. one. So we'll do that too. Okay. Back to the music. Now, let me see. Haircut 100. Uh, and then we were going to go to Bruce Springsteen. And this is one of his big, big hits, right? Right. This right. is, and I guess this was done back in the 80s. Does it say when? In 1984, 84. and it was a tribute that he did to his friends who had experienced the Vietnam War, some of whom had not come back, and also protest the hardships that the veterans faced uh, when they came back. So this was, I think, right from his heart. So. And then, after Bruce, another one of my favorites, and I've been reading up on Pat Benatar lately, Love is a Battlefield. This was a huge hit for oh, Pat Benatar, huge, and huge. Uh, MTV played it over and, and you know over what? She and won, over and over. She won Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance from that song. And then do we do one more after that? I'm Want not to? sure. Well, I'm not sure. What do, yeah. we, do we? No, we don't. We, come back. we do too. Okay. okay. We'll so see here, you, in a few here you go with um, Bruce Check Springsteen. It Check it out. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, go into uh, Ola and tell Bernadette that uh, thank you so much for sponsoring Monterey on tonight. Because we couldn't be here if it wasn't for Ola, and we're going to have the owners on next week. Yes, we are. And we're so, going to have a giveaway certificate next week while they're here. Great. In celebration of their guest appearance. See, you guys, hey, go to the website. I mean, we're giving stuff away like crazy tonight. KYMBTV.com. And that was Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar from What a talented and vocalist. And you know, Catherine Nagel, who is our uh, producer, executive producer, she brought it to our attention that uh, Pat Benatar attended the Ju Juilliard. Juilliard. Yeah, so thank you for that. She was quite Karen. professionally trained. She and was. that was from 1984. And you know, I did a little something fun you last did? night. Yes. Okay. I thought, you know, if we go to a year and we play a video like we did Pat Benatar, how about finding out where the world was in that place in, in time? In 1984? In 1984, the Cosby Show premiered. Wow. 
Gandhi was assassinated. She was. Reagan was reelected. Stonewashed blue jeans were introduced. <laughs> that was before they shredded them up. <laughs> yeah. With holes. The AIDS virus was discovered. Michael Jackson's hair caught fire during the Pepsi commercial. 1984. And the Apple computer releases the Macintosh personal computer, which Catherine in our studio just brought her MacBook Pro, which I'm so jealous. It's so beautiful. Anyway, so that was first introduced. And in 1984, finally, the first infomercials appear on TV due to the deregulation by the FCC. And if you flip the channel from our channel, and you go to some of the other channels that are nearby, you will see a lot of infomercials. infomercials. But we tr what we try to do is we actually have to carry some of the one minute, 30 second ones that come down from the network, but we do not do, we have a policy, we do not do 28 minute infomercials at all. So if you have an idea for a local show, you'd like to have your own local show, and, some, and your own local guests, let us know. We'll tell you how to do it. Gary's really good about creating the formula on how that can be done. And we'll put you right between the movie stars. You won't be between the infomercials. infomercials. That's yep. right. You can go down to your local Walgreens and you can buy all of those infomercial stuff <laughs> and not pay the shipping charges. And that's what's beginning to happen. Yeah, that, that, a exactly. Lot of the folks, a lot of the folks in the infomercial business, the TV stations are saying, you know what, I don't want to play that infomercial because they have the website there. And if you go to the website and buy the product after you saw it on TV, the TV station doesn't get any they don't benefit. They get any benefit from it. And so what we're trying to do is hopefully break the mold and yep. do something unique. We don't do news. We don't dress up in a tie. And, it's, and, you know, that's great. But there are already wonderfully, professionally corporations that are doing the news in this market. So we're going to do something different. We yeah, do, we're, we're mom we, and pop TV. We're mom and pop. We're the entertainment channel in Monterey. We have movies. And I can't tell you, every time I turn on our channel... It's very hard to pull me away because these movies are so good. And Sarah Nicole will be on in a short while to tell us about what's coming on. Today, before our show came on, it was actually two hours before our show, Thelma and Louise. I turned it on, and there's Brad Thelma Pitt. Thelma and Louise. And you know uh, who came on after, right no. before our show? No. Teeny Shake. Teeny so was on tonight. Teeny was within three hours of Brad Pitt, his How show. How about that? So, see, this is a really good channel to you know, dial into and see what's on because the MGM library is just amazing. Huge library. It's amazing. Four, over 4,000 titles. And they actually acquired the United Artists, a library, Canon, and Polygram. So, uh, and Clint Eastwood's on our channel. We see him a lot, a lot we of do. his movies. Now he's with, um, was it Warner Brothers he went to? He's He's been at Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers for, for a long, long time. long time, but, but there were a lot of earlier movies that... He, he, he made some movies for MGM. He did, and they're on. Yeah, they, they do from plan. years ago. So anyway, that's what happened in 1984. 1984. And I thought well, that yeah, was kind that'll of funny. Yeah, that'll be fun. Do that once in a while. I will. And, and we'll dig it. We'll, we'll, since we're digging into the old video music library kind of here take from you classics, back in time. we'll talk about what happened years ago. <laughs> okay, we, uh, we uh, enjoyed Pat Benatar and Love is a Battlefield. And now here's another one, not by Pat. This is by The Police that is a classic music video. This one's called Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. See if you remember this From 1981, one. and when we come back, we will have Gary Hamada, who is now in the studio with us. Okay, great. Okay, see you in a few minutes. And there was uh, a great video, The Police, and uh, I really like that one. Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. From 1981. Like Magic 63 for Sean <laughs> O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan. Yeah. <laughs> Brings back memories, huh, nice, Sean? Nice to be yeah. in the presence He's, of royalty. Yeah. Gary Coca-Cola and Sean. Okay. Well, I, you know. The, the, <laughs> Do you, re you remember Sean? We, we were him. sitting between <laughs> Jules earlier, and I said, the guys with the gray hair. And then I thought, no, it's the guys with the silver hair. You're getting there, too, my friend. I'll be there pretty soon. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let it go. I think it's very, very nice. Anyway, welcome, Gary Hamada. Mm. To our Thank Monterey you. on tonight, Gary's with us every Saturday night mm -hmm. in the 10 o'clock hour. Incidentally, before we go any further, our 10 o'clock concert, and we're a little late tonight with uh, Alberto. Alberto's Ristorante over in Pacific Grove on Forest Avenue is our one-hour sponsor for the next hour. So we want to thank Alberto, and uh, you'll see Alberto. We have a commercial where he welcomes everyone into the restaurant. He goes... Hello, I'm Alberto. <laughs> you so. do that better than he does. Where the Iron Chef's dying. Yeah, where the Iron Chef's dying <laughs> in Pacific Grove. 
Anyway, Gary, you've yeah. got someone on the phone tonight. Well, we uh, had for... Monta Potter, CEO for the Carmel Chamber of Commerce, that was supposed to be on tonight, and uh, she said she has to get to bed. She's running the marathon. Tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Bigger marathon. Yeah. She is. Yeah, oh. and she thought she would stay up and 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 try to, you know, come on the show. She needs all the she's rest not, she can yeah, get. Says, no, I got to rest. But there's a there's a worldwide marathoner here, world class, Thompson Lang who is not only co-owner of the Homescapes Carmel, but also Homescapes Home and Garden in the Barnyard Shopping Village. Uh -huh. He's also the pa a very popular past chairperson for the Carmel Chamber of Commerce, and he's also on the board of directors for the Big Sur Marathon. Wow. So he's not running this marathon. He's going to be he's helping out. Oh. But he well, has welcome, run. Thompson. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's past his bedtime, too, by the way. Yeah, we're sorry we kept you up so late tonight with well, the big we did, day tomorrow. Well, while I'm not running the marathon, I am actually getting up tomorrow at 3 in the morning. Oh, I'm goodness. To sort the garbage for the marathon, for a, for a green marathon now. And what so, time would that be, uh, Thompson? Will you be getting up? Jump. What time will you be getting up? At 3 o'clock, I've, I've got to get down to um, uh, Big Sur. Uh, the, by being green, it means that we're really concentrating on getting rid of um, there will be trash of course there's always trash but any recyclable any compost, um, compostable has to be separated and it all in, in any little thing a rubber band could screw the whole thing oh excuse me can mess the whole thing up <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so i have to get up early but i'm not running so i could take monta's place because monta has more and she she do, will be running tomorrow like then me. 3 a.m. Gary, you and I are still up. Yeah, we're still yeah. up at 3 a.m. We're still up at 3 a.m. You no. might get an email from uh, Jules uh, in about <laughs> 3 in the morning. Yeah, we quit about 6 a.m. Thompson, you, you drive. <laughs> You're out partying while we're out riding or starting our. We're working. You drive down to Big Sur. You, Thompson, you drive down to Big Sur early in the morning. That's and right. And actually, I'm going to do a favor with, since I have to go down there to work, I'm also going to transport some friends of mine that are doing the different runs. And so ah. I'm going to drop them off so that they can uh, not uh, have a little bit of comfort, not be in the in, in the vans and buses. I'll, they'll be in my car, and I'll drop them off. At, oh, at I see. Now, Tom, this, uh, Thompson is noted for uh, something that he's done that very few people have done. He's run a marathon on all seven continents. Oh, goodness You're gracious. Kidding. Good that for is, you. That is absolutely you can, true. The Great Wall of China. My, my claim to fame is that um, <laughs> I have slipped on glaciers and I have run the Great Wall of China and there's a lot of things. I've Do you done. have some <laughs> photos of that? <laughs> Do you, do you have any photos, Thompson? Do you Thompson? have photos? Uh, actually, I do. And um, actually, some of my favorite photos, like the one from Antarctica where I slipped and fell and cut open my face, I, I actually really like it. It's got, you know, people thought that I was exaggerating, and then they thought that then when they see the picture, they see all these blood speckles on well, my we'll, face. I look really macho. We'll I'm trust really you on that. Not macho. All, but, but I do run. We would love to see, not that one. Probably, we'll take your word for it on that one, but some of those others that uh, where you're healthy and... In good shape. That'd be fun to see. We could show our viewers. One of the things. It, 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 the interesting thing about, and, and, and I'm very pro, and, and, and as Gary said, I'm on the board of, um, of the Big Sur Marathon because I'm from Carmel. I grew up here. And um, I just, it, it, it seems to me that, that the world, or at least our community, seems needs to know that um, Big Sur Marathon is so famous, and it ends in Carmel, and I'm from Carmel. And so it's oh, very important nice. to me to get the word out that. Um, that Sleepy Little Carmel has a very, very important, it's, it's, it's the third best, according to Runner's World, third wow. best marathon in America. So, How many people will be running tomorrow, Thompson? Well, about 45 pe uh, uh, 4,500 people sign up for the marathon itself, but, you know, there's always people that are injured and stuff. So it's, it's more like uh, all told with the running events uh, and the walking events and um, the, the, different di the different distances, it's about 10,000 people. It's a lot oh of people. Goodness. That's why we closed huh. down that major highway. Really and what's the weather look like tomorrow? Pretty good? Is it good well, for running? It looks good for anybody um, uh, uh, being a spectator, but as a marathoner, I, I think it's supposed to be about 67 degrees tomorrow, yeah. and yes. I actually, and most marathoners, prefer it to be much cooler. What's uh -huh. the worst weather you've ever run your uh, marathon well, on Antarctica, all seven continents? Of course, because Antarctica. it was sub-zero, but, but past Antarctica. Were you uh, in shorts? Yeah, I, I have had plenty of um, of runs uh, that were torrential rain. Uh, 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 those, those get a little bit... Um, tiring because you're so wet and cold after mean? running for many hours in, in rain. Th Thompson, uh, what were you wearing in Antarctica when you ran? Um, <laughs> a very different 
it late. Uh, I, I, I ended in the parka, but I didn't <laughs> want to run the whole thing in the parka because I never trained in the parka. Park. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. That's just but it was very cold and windy down there, and eventually I had to put the parka on or I would have just you know, really frozen. Did you uh, drink anything uh, like an alcoholic beverage to keep you no, warm? No, 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 no. You, you don't you want to do that. Do that. But um, certainly, uh, well, well, you start with coffee and um and what was really nice about Antarctica, to be, to be honest, is that uh, we were running between research stations, and the people from the Uruguayan research station had hot chocolate for us at the end of the race. And so we all got to go into these, um, like, Quonset huts and have hot chocolate. And that's, uh, to me, a, a great memory because most people that visit Antarctica aren't actually allowed into those research stations, and they uh, were very hospitable to now, us. Now, you have a very strange body because you don't... <laughs> I mean, right. you, I mean, yeah, I'm going to say that in a nice way because uh, we've, we've done the radio interviews. You finish a marathon and you don't ache, right? You don't have any pains, no, nothing. Well, sore. that's because I'm not that fast. I mean, I, 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 I've talked to you before from, um, from I did a 50-mile yeah. run, as 50 we, miles. you may recall, uh, down in, in, in Santa um, Catalina Island. In Catalina Island. Yeah. And the, the nice thing about that is that I'm very slow. And so, I mean, I, I may have my aches and pains, but it's not as miserable as it could be. Because if I was, a, if I was an athlete, I think <laughs> I'd probably feel pain. But I'm not. I just, uh, slow and steady wins the race for me. Yeah. Uh, what, so tomo- uh, let, me, let me ask you, you have two businesses uh, in oh. Carmel. One, the, uh, the Homescape Carmel, which is, which is very well, business of the year last year. Yeah. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, uh, Homescape and Home. Uh, Homescape's Home and Garden is oh, down yeah. in the barnyard, and that's where we are currently operating. But the exciting news for us is yeah, that um, we've had an incredibly, uh, a really great opportunity, and we are opening in Carmel Plaza. We're building a 12,000-square-foot store. Yeah. Um, we wow. will be one of the anchors of Carmel Plaza, and it's actually the last large space that can even be developed in downtown Carmel. So it's, it's all very exciting. It's, um, I'm, I'm in the middle of working with my architect and general contractor to wow. come up with a really great building, and I think people are going to love it. Now you, now, you told me you weren't going to open. Jules just asked me. You're not going to open until June or something like that. Is that right? Well, July. Can we come to your open house? I would love you to come to my open We'd house. We'd love to come to your open house. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be it, – the, the space is, is incredible, yeah. and it's actually being uh, developed for events. Um, I'm on the board of the Carmel Art and Film Festival, and um, I've already got an event scheduled for uh, the the space. And that hasn't even oh, been you know what? I ran the uh, the promo commercial for the Carmel Art and Film Festival uh, for the last season on our Coastal TV network, which airs oh, yeah? in six markets. We reach millions of TV viewers, so I'd be happy to do that again this year for you as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you they've got some great things lined up for the the Art and Film yeah. Festival, and I'm really really kind of honored i know that sounds weird to say but i'm honored that they allowed me on their board because it's an incredible thing for carmel that, that uh, tom and aaron are developing um a, a really a world-class um uh, event and um some of the people that have just been uh, accepted onto the board and asked to be on the board um their insistence they are with major film festivals around the country great. and the goal was to, to make this a major yeah. one within 10 years and um and all these new people are saying it's going to be a major one within five How so nice. let's see if that's Super. true but I, i'd be really happy for carmel if we could keep this going forward because carmel so needs, would we um, carmel's a great town and it needs this kind of new energy kind of hip stuff going on and that's what's happening we've been doing some reading and carmel is really yep uh, hopefully our along. Hope, yeah, hopefully, it I mean, it's a, you know, even though it's an expensive town, if you really read about it and you see what's going on, all of a sudden there's a lot of new things going on and people are taking some real chances. And I think all of them are going to benefit Carmel. The, well, new, the new business will be in the Carmel Plaza. Is that right? That's, uh, that's right. Yeah. We'll be under anthropology. It's 12,000 square feet. 12,000 square feet. Department of Sachs. Okay, you're going to have like a coffee shop and oh, all no, that? Oh, no, it's a wine bar, a tasting bar. cafe, oh. <laughs> um, affluent books. I'm, I'm going to have a bookstore. Uh, I, I'll have eventually a flower shop, an interior right. design studio. There's so much space in there that even with all those oh, new okay. things I'm putting in, it's still going to be bigger than my old store. <laughs> oh, great. Well, we love to hear about people expanding, especially since times have been the way they have. God bless you for doing that. It's really great. Uh, we wish you the best, Thompson, and thanks for being a guest tonight on our show. Thank you very much. Thompson, honestly, didn't we wake you up and then... You did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, and I'm going to be asleep for <laughs> 35 seconds. Well, good luck tomorrow. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Sweet dreams. All right, pleasant dreams, thanks Thompson. A lot. Thank you. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs> good night. Yeah, good how night, about Thompson. that? Yeah, he really is expanding. Uh, you know, khakis has yeah. moved into the plaza. 
um, there's people that are actually uh, not afraid of the future of our uh, society and our country and our economy, and they're going forward and doing things like Thompson, mm -hmm. and so bless him for that. He's been very successful in business, and uh, he, you know, he's also find, finds time to run every morning at 4:35 o'clock. I've called him while you know while he's running. Four yeah. Five yeah. Keeps the cell phone with yep. him uh, going down the road. Yeah. Well, you know what? Stick around for a little bit. Let's get back and play a video, and then we'll come back. And, yeah, and we'll talk about uh, what's going on uh, in uh, in the area because Mr. Hamada knows everything that's happening <laughs> right, on the that Monterey is the Peninsula. Ear to the ground. He does. <laughs> so this is uh, from 1984. Rod Stewart. Some guys have all of the luck, and he, we'll see you in a few minutes. Some guys do. <laughs> Rod Stewart, and some guys have all the luck. Do you know you uh, speaking, any? You, why are you looking at me like I'm that? I'm looking at you. <laughs> Because he looking knows at all you. the info. And Mr. In Hamada this knows town. everybody. He knows what's going on. You I mean, got all the luck. No, listen, we <laughs> just got here. Uh, <laughs> you've been here. You know everyone, just like Thompson there on, uh. the, on the phone. Well, you know what? Uh, this is a great community. Uh, people like Thompson Lang, uh, who grew up in this community, born and raised here, and they continue to nurture what they do, and they, they continue do. to do, uh, do things that are, even in this economy, you like know, I said, it, I can't, you know, I can't believe that people are doing it. Khakis. Well, we moved, heard, uh, yeah, there was an article about that. khakis, and, and wasn't Mona Potter yeah, I think it was quoted, in today's paper. Quoted. Yeah. Did you read you that? You know what? I have, actually, I have a little note that I think I pulled out of the paper. About the economy today. Carmel? It says, downtown Carmel, filling up. Yeah. Um, Good for vacant you, storefronts, Gary. Vacant that. storefronts that come with a recession are still popping up around downtown Carmel, <laughs> but they're not uh, staying vacant for long said uh, Monta Potter, CEO of the Carmel Chamber of Commerce. So we've got khakis. There's a place called Chuckles at 6th Avenue mm -hmm. and Dolores Street. It's a card shop that carries only funny cards. Fresh cream uh, moved from Monterey to the Adobe Inn on Dolores and 8th. Uh, Lace Tropez, mm -hmm. a French restaurant. restaurants are doing very well, too, Dolores uh, yeah. between Ocean and 7th. Mm -hmm. Avant -garde, uh, Garden Gift and Home mm -hmm. carries home furnishings and accessories. And um, Arizona-based Hot Sticks, which sells custom-fit golf clubs, uh, opened its first California location on Mission between 5th That's and 6th. That's a lot of business. And from Tea to Green, mm. which sells golf clothing for women, left the barnyard a year ago and moved to Palo Alto. They've opened in the Carmel Plaza. How about that? <laughs> I want to learn how to golf. You want to learn how to I golf? I have a golf clubs now. You do? Yeah. You know Gary doesn't Gary? golf. Oh, no, Gary? you know what? Golf. You know what he always I'm, says? I'm a recovering workaholic. And you know what else he says? He goes, I don't golf. I'm a pilot. <laughs> Johnny, yeah. Miller, Johnny Miller and I grew up together playing golf in San Francisco. I want to learn how. Okay. I need to. You, you know, you know how to play golf? Okay. Catherine's going to set me up because she's got all the connections. That's right. Good. That's right. That's right. Good, Thank good, you. good. But that's a great testimony to what's going on in Carmel. Absolutely. And that's why I was going to have Monta Potter on tonight. And uh, she was going to tell us about how the chamber has done pretty well for this time, you know, for this Well, tough we'll times. have her on yeah. some other time. Mm -hmm. They're adding more businesses and uh, they've maintained their uh, membership over these years. And you know what's good about all this? They can advertise on our station. <laughs> Coastal TV <laughs> Network. Absolutely. <laughs> they Promoting can advertise right here, too. and they can advertise on our network and reach six markets. Yep. Right, well, Jules? Absolutely. KYMB stands for your Monterey Bay. Your Monterey Bay. Right? Well, we have a very, very special package that we're putting together for the entire city of Carmel by the Sea. Yes. So if any of our viewers have a business in Carmel by the Sea, this is a very, very, what we're doing is we're doing, you know how I, I used this analogy today with you, and I don't think I've mentioned this to you. You know why people go to Costco? Because they can get wholesale, they get quality, <laughs> right? Why right? they go to Walmart? Okay. No, I think Costco is a better quality Point, okay? Is it for quality or is it for price? Qu and quantity. It's, I think, I think and it's, quanti it's price, price, quality, and, and, and price point. And that is the new strategy that we're mm -hmm. doing with our uh, marketing department here at Comcast Channel 19. Yes. And we're going to have a special incentive for Carmel by the Sea mm -hmm. businesses, and it's going to be... Are we going to be the Costco of TV? So insane. <laughs> it's so insane because you know what our goal is? It's That's not to have one, one or two advertisers that are paying these insane rates, but we really want to help all of the businesses, and we want it to be within the reach of all businesses to Absolutely. be able to have a presence on television. So Certainly. 
Certainly. Well, certainly. You know why Gary is saying that? Because we've been watching television and everybody says absolutely all so the time. So now I'm going to start saying certainly. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm hearing too much of lately is it is what it is. Uh, it it's is like, what it please is. don't say it anymore. <laughs> Sometimes these sayings just get out of hand. So Gary's eliminating absolutely. I know yeah, you are I just eliminating. Said it. it is what it is. You're saying certainly. I'm you know who certainly. said certainly? Who said certainly? What was one of the three stooges that used to go certainly? Certainly. Who? Curly? Curly? Yeah. Certainly. 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 That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know what's going on a little yes, bit? Yeah, please. go ahead, Dave. Or Dave. Okay. Gary. Okay. All right. Give us a little too much of that mom champagne they've got on the corner next to the pizza. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm going to start from tomorrow, and I'm going to work to, to next week. Go to, for to it. Next Saturday. And, okay, go for it. And you're going to take your pencil and paper out if I you want. I got a pen. Or just listen carefully because I'm no, going to go. I got a pen. I'm not going to go really quick. All right, go ahead. Tomorrow, Big Sur Marathon. Everybody knows the International Marathon, the most beautiful marathon in the world. You yes. already know that. Yes. Uh, With Mon the piano by the road, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. okay Monday, April 26th at the Monterey Conference Center. Monday, April. Je Jeb Bush and James Carville. No way. Yeah, part of the 2010 Panetta Institute uh, uh, Public Pol Policy Series. You want more information, go to www.panettainstitute.com. Those two guys, that should be a lot of fireworks. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> wow. That's, that's Monday. Okay. And Tuesday, April 27th, at Way Street Studios right here on Cannery Row. What's the date on that? Uh, Tuesday, April 27th, okay. 7 p.m., and also the uh, moder the uh, Jeb Bush and James Carville at the Monterey Conference Center at 7 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, April 27th, Wave Street Studios, Eric Telford returns home. Now, the significance of Eric Telford is that not only is he an excellent trumpet player, but he's the first recipient of the Monterey Jazz Festival Jimmy Lyons uh, Scholarship Award. And uh, this was 14 years ago. And he now returns to Carmel after he's, he's married now. He's 32 years old. He has a, a one-year-old daughter. He went to P Pacific Grove High School. And he uh, is going to be uh, with his group playing at the Way Street Studios where he made his first recording at what was used to be called the Media Room 14 years ago. Is that a charge to? $20 get you in. You get a CD as well. Oh, that's Great. good. Uh, I like it when they uh, do that. Yeah, yeah so you get the whole package for 20 bucks. And uh, That's a good deal. Next Saturday, just to throw this in, I think everybody wants to do something good for the uh, the, the community. Uh, it's going to be the first uh, annual Carmel Home Tour, and it's going to be sponsored by the Carmel River School. So it benefits them and the PTA. Great idea. Uh, more information, carmelhometour.org. And uh, that's next Saturday, May 1st, from noon to 4 p.m. Do you know how many homes they're going to have on the Five tour? homes. Five Plus homes. they're going to, uh, and these are these are like this. You know, Dean Eastwood used to be the head of the PTA of uh, Carmel River School, so that kind of gives you the idea. The idea. Okay. And it's an award-winning school. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And I mean, how much great. is that? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, so I'll check Carmel It's a donation. Tour. I think it might have been $85, but I'm not really okay, sure. Okay, so, and then, uh, and do they have, like, little appetizers and... Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be the full treatment, and you go to, and they're also going to show uh, there's a new building being built on the Carmel River School campus. This is going to help fund it, I believe, and it's going to be uh, part of that. The home tour is going to help this. This is the first annual Carmel River School ho Carmel Home Tour. What a great idea. Is that an elementary school? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's elementary. Well, we would call elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Elementary. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you, Gary. Yeah, that That's is great. great information for He's our viewers. Yeah, I, I, you know, here's the man. He knows what's going, going on in this area. You know what? I was asking you when we were on yeah. break. Uh, Jeff Moses sent this jazz concert at Forest Theater. Since you're familiar with Carmel, June 3rd from 7 to 8 30. I know it's a ways away, but okay. Bria Skomberg. So, who's this with? You're, what, you're, what you're looking at here is uh, the, 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 uh, the typical uh, every year they have the jazz in the forest uh, at the Forest Theater. Now, it's nice enough just to go to the Forest Theater and sit there, but now you get to listen to world class jazz oh, artists. Oh, wonderful. This one's coming in from Canada. And it's one night only. He's going to be doing the Great American Songbook, which people in Carmel love. And so you're looking at, you know, Cole Porter, George Gershwin, that Wonderful. type of thing, Hoagie okay. Carmichael. The players, he, they, it's too expensive to travel with players now. So what he does is he brings, he's going to have some of the top people in this area perform. Oh, okay. Fast Eddie Good Erickson idea. is going to be on guitar and maybe uh, banjo at times. But he has toured in Japan. He's one of the top players in this area. Uh, Billy Jones would be on drums, and Heath Proskin, one of the top bass players, uh, and also an instructor at the uh, uh, R uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, will be on bass. Great. Um, is Woody still doing anything on Thursday nights? I'm, 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 you, you, you know, you mentioned that. 
I can't help but I didn't want to bring up Kim's name because people might think that I'm favoring no, him. No, no, it's okay. But I'm... Thursday nights, it's still the Kim Edmondson uh, okay, jam right there. Okay, and right there. this week, this past week, you missed, you might have missed something really good because Greg Abate sat in. And yes, he's, we and were he's, talking yeah, with Greg he's on the performing. phone. But he also had some other artists, and, they, and they're performing with uh, Kim Edmondson there. So you had all these artists that are coming in from different parts of the country that Kim is familiar with through all his um, connections. connections. Oh, yeah. very nice. Well, you know what? We really wanted to make it last week. We were actually in traffic coming from San Jose because San Jose is a, an, uh, an outlet for Coastal mm -hmm. TV, and we were installing new equipment. And I was so disappointed we couldn't get to Woody's because I haven't been there yet. Gary and I haven't been. So we have to go. we're really, really making wanna, effort we this week to, to get yeah. there. Kim so is, uh, you know, you'll hear his soundtrack on a lot of movies, but you also hear his playing on CSI Miami uh, and The Simpsons. Now I have to ask you a question. All of these events, do you go to all of them? I, I don't, I don't, really. Honestly, I don't usually have time. I wish I did. I, when, with the radio show that I used to do, it was, it was uh, very difficult. I love to go to it. I used to go to it, but now it's a little more difficult, more difficult to do. I mean, if okay. I was a single guy, you know, just out and about, just like you. You're, just work, like you're working all the time. I know. And how many invitations do you get to go to all these <laughs> We things? get a lot of invitations. We try to go to, we try to, go to as I mean, much there was a time, I, I used yeah. to tell my executive producer, Catherine Nagel, way back, there was a time when, you know, I could probably go anywhere in Carmel and not ever pay for a meal, right? Yep. Well, that's right. <laughs> well, that's the benefit. But you never go out. Being on never... the radio, but you're right. I want to right. mention one more thing. Sure, just go ahead. For those since uh, uh, Jules brought it up. Tomorrow, just a hot tip, uh, the Sundays at uh, the Hyatt uh, at Regency in, in uh, Monterey, uh, there's a jazz jam. Lee Durley will be there. Oh, is Lee going to be there? David Moore would. Oh, that's great. But you will also have Michael Lent, who is Barry Manilow's guitarist there tomorrow. So Tomorrow? tomorrow. What, time? what time? Uh, I believe it's the brunch or the, the lunch. you have to check uh, with the Hyatt. Regis okay, tomorrow. we'll check. Yeah, it's in the afternoon, I believe. We know those folks over at the Hyatt. Mark Bastis. That's and him. the chef is Mark Ayers. Mark Ayers and the celebrities Mark are, The chefs around here are Michael Lent has been the guitarist for Barry Manilow for so many years. What's his first name? Uh, Michael Lent. And he's Michael a Pacific Lent. Grove uh, resident. And wow. uh, he, you'll see him all the time at the Tonight Show, wherever Barry Manilow plays. There's Michael Lent Is back he there. still playing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Gary took me to see Barry Manilow in, in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. And it was in February, and I thought Gary was going to propose to me. Because I thought... During Barry Manilow, wouldn't that be like so right, romantic? So romantic? Just pull it. He'd reach into his pocket. I'm like, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And it wasn't, but that's okay, because Barry Manilow was so dynamite. It was just right. great. We actually have him T vote his show, huh? We do. We were yeah. just watching. You eventually it proposed, honey. I did. You did. I did. No, do you have any? Did, did Barry Manilow do any videos back in the '80s or? Anything? You know, I don't think we have any Barry Manilow videos. We can but check. We can sure check. We can check. We'll Would look you? and see if we do. Yeah. It'd be interesting. Yes. Could it yeah. be magic? <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Gary. Thanks, it's always Gary. a pleasure. We'll see, and, uh, we'll see you next yeah. week. We'll see you next week. Thanks okay. for the info. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. And now let's get back to uh, the music videos here on do Monterey you have it? I do. It's uh, it's a Peter Gabriel video. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh. What is it? And it's for? called In Your Eyes. Oh, I like this one. So, this is a good song. Huh? We just oh, play Rod Stewart. We play Rod, and we are not going to play Ozzy, right? So we're going to play... Did you skip? Peter did you Gabriel. skip after Rod Stewart, Dave? Dave's our engineer, folks. This is live TV. Yeah. So we always you was know, this a surprise? The Peter Gabriel to everybody? No, let me just see. All right. Is it? I thought we didn't see it before. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here Peter we go. Gabriel. Peter Gabriel. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I didn't hear it, but Dave said the audio was there, so. Uh, that was Alberto that was Bonatelli. Alberto Bonatelli. Alberto Bonatelli. He makes some really great chicken marsala. And he is our sponsor for this hour on Monterey on tonight. And I'm going to check with Alberto and see if we can't give away some Alberto gift certificates. We did week. when he was a guest here, yeah. so we oh, got to get him back on too. and get some more. So next week we'll have Ola and Alberto. This week we have First Impressions Party Supply, twenty-five we have Lighthouse Cinema and Lighthouse Cinema and Captain Ben. And Captain Ben, as a matter Better of fact, not forget right. Captain Ben. You got we that. Got, yeah, Twenty-five. Let me put that put over that here. That over there with a the goodie pile. Twenty-five and uh, with the prizer file. Some things going on in uh, the area on May 16th and 17th is the what? Artichoke Festival. Oh, Artichoke Festival and the Castroville. In Castroville. And I don't know how many of you out there have ever tried fried artichoke hearts, but Gary's mom, and if she's watching, I'm going to give her all the credit. She's got a great she recipe. She makes the, the best. And actually, Gary... 
many years ago filmed her cooking that recipe and then when we got married I watched it and copied it and so now Gary and I make uh, fried artichoke carts and they're so good so good so, it's a, That's a great so actually if you can get to the artichoke uh, festival. festival and buy a big box and if you'd like the recipe just let us know and we'll send it to you and I mean you know what it's I think would terrific. be fun you know, what I think we should, you know what I think we should do what's that I think we should do a show where you and I are cooking your mom's recipes we should just do it sometime but you know fun. what? Let's leave the cooking to Teeny. But really, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, if you want the recipe, call me and I'll Let's email me and I'll send it to Let's leave the cooking to Teeny. Okay. Let Teeny do the cooking. Or Alberto. Or Alberto. Okay. So the, uh, did you know the Artichoke Festival is most noted for discovering Marilyn Monroe in no. 1963 when the festival crowned her, then known as Norma Jean, as its first Parade Queen. I didn't know that. I know that Marilyn Monroe made a movie on Cannery Row. In fact, uh, our Mr. Monterey Movie Tours, Doug, has uh, done a Monterey Movie Moments. That's right. With, down there on Cannery Row, and Marilyn with Monroe, Monroe filmed a movie down there. Absolutely. Yeah. Am I right? I said absolutely. You did say I wasn't going to say you absolutely. you got to say certainly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the Artichoke Festival has, it's really fun. We actually went one year, but they have parade. It's they have a, a skateboarding a contest. Time. They have field tours, wine tasting, cooking demos. demos. You know, everything that goes on around here is fun. They have the Garlic I Festival. Know. I, I mean, know. you know, where else can you go I to know. a Garlic Festival? So write festival. it down on your calendar, May 16th Put it and 17th. On our and don't they have a strawberry festival too? Yeah, they have everything. And then they have the tomato fest. Now it's called the Harvest Festival. Well, it's the Harvest okay. Fest. So. Well, we just love it here on the Monterey Peninsula. I hope you folks do too. And our KYMB festival will be in March. At, no, March, uh, May. May. At May 14th I I at uh, Ola. Yeah. Ola right. at I the barnyard. and um, That's May 14th, so write it on your calendar, May 14th. And we'll probably be getting there between 5.30 and 6. And we'll have some fun. Okay. So, okay. All it, right. What's next on the... Well, I, I want to remind the folks that are watching tonight to make sure that they send us an email so they can get into our contest. That's at KYMBTV. Um, no purchase is necessary. Go to our website to kymbtv.com. Uh, just send us, shoot us an email. We'll put your name in our fishbowl and uh, our executive producer. Our fishbowl. It's our candy jar. No, it's our fishbowl. It's our candy jar. It's we never have had jar. fish in that okay. bowl. Okay. Well, we've had candy in it? Yes. Well, okay. Well, we yes. took the candy out, and now we have <laughs> your uh, your emails in, in the candy bowl. We have coming up in the studio. Matt, the waiter, just came in. Matt, the waiter, and we're going to see if anyone uh, actually was able to figure out his uh, photo contest, contest and we'll be and, showing uh, we'll that we'll be showing that and then he's got a new one for next week he does and uh, matt's going to go down to the comedy store uh, in the next couple of months down in down in la uh, he's going to be a he's going to be a comedian on tv so we're going to let him yeah he can practice here on monterey on tonight <laughs> kymb <laughs> just keep it clean matt he will. I told him G or PG. 13. <laughs> All right, back to the music. Uh, let's see. What we did have? Elton John. Well, this is another The Queen. Uh, <laughs> How do you say that? Well, what is see, it? Which a, one is it? It says right here Queen, another one bites the oh, dust. Oh, that's fun. But where's all my show? It's my song list. Did you take because it? Because we just did uh, I'm Still Standing. I didn't oh, take it. Oh, you know what? Yes, you did. I did? Yeah, it's all here. Here you go. Oh, do you don't have the right one? Live TV folks, we have a ball. We are trying to stay organized, and uh, I hope we are. We did Elton John. So we'll we did, go to uh, uh, Queen. This is Queen, and another one bites What's the dust. What's after that? And then, uh, it, are we doing the one after that? I can't tell anymore because you don't. I put let no me by the one that says we're not going to do it. Where are we? Right here. White Snake? Is this love? Yes, that's called uh, White Snake. Is this love? This is called a power ballad. A power that. ballad. That's okay, so we're going to do two videos for you. Here's Queen, Another One Bites the Dust, and White Snake, and Is This Snake. Love right here on Monterey. Not Island. the White Snake. I like to add the in front of Just all like of these. The Queen. The Queen. <laughs> The White Snake, the Queen, the Elton John, the Peter Gabriel. That was Is This Love from 1980. Help me. 19? You, you got it, oh, honey. I, I gave it, it to you. Oh, yep. well, Is This Love? 1987. And look what else was on there. 
uh, was he Power Ballad White Snake? Oh, and it was written originally for Tina Turner. I could totally see her singing that yeah. song, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, I wonder why she didn't sing it. I don't know. Yeah, they probably weren't going to pay her enough. Maybe so. Or it wasn't she's a big love. star. And yeah, she's a big star. Anyway, yeah. uh, Matt the Waiter is here tonight yes. from Isabella's and Latitudes. Yes. And uh, the reason that uh, Matt is here is he's perfecting his craft. He's uh, going on <laughs> down to. Uh, to the comedy store down there in Hollywood. So we have to get him used to the heat of an audience. Right. It's pretty you know? intense already, you're, but I feel good. Yeah, you're <laughs> getting used to the camera and the microphone and, and being on TV. Exactly, being on TV a little bit. I and appreciate I'll tell you it. what, let's get that closer to you. There's a microphone. I'm going to have to learn to understand yeah. the dynamics of something like that. Sorry about that. It's okay. And um, Matt uh, has uh, actually... Uh, come up with, he and uh, Diana from um, Latitudes came up with a great idea. Matt's a, an amateur photographer. Uh, he's a professional only if he gets paid. He might beg to and we're that. not paying him, so he's an amateur I'm photographer. An amateur oh, photographer. is that the yes. defining factor? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It really is. It really yeah. is. Yeah. If it happens, if you get a dollar or two If you get something. a dollar, then you're a professional. So if I give him a dollar, he becomes a he professional? He becomes a professional. Yes. He got paid for, this, for his services. Well, you know that tip that was supposed to go to me and Ed's? We'll give it to him. He's now a professional. <laughs> he's a professional. I love a gratuity at yeah. any time. Yeah, at any time. <laughs> 21%. <laughs> That's important. And folks. you know what? Since you're talking about gratuity, yes, and you're in the in the uh, the, the what are they hospitality hospitality business. Thank I am you. a waiter. You are I, a waiter, I and that is a modern euphemism and, that and the server the, thing. I you, am a waiter. There, there is he carries his uh, carries his uh, apron with him. I, um, I wait, and then I serve. Question, <laughs> yes. and 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 this, you know, at one time um, the standard tipping gratuity was around 15%. Have That's you right. seen it now creep up a little bit to, say, 20? Is it happening? These are troubled times, and most people have been paying their gratuity in wampum. <laughs> so seashells, beads, old teeth. No, and... come on, Matt. This is a serious question that will affect the future of all waiters on the Monterey right. Peninsula. And they don't want to have see you beads. Have you seen? <laughs> the coolest thing, really, as an American these days, is to over-tip. Just, you know, just... To well, let the money flow, yes. and that way you you ensure um, your spot in whatever afterlife that you were <laughs> hoping for. You know we're not going to be reli you know religiously specific at all, but definitely you are you are you know going to see someone after you is pass it on. Is it twenty one percent? It's about twenty. Basically, the the new thing right now is uh, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty one. So um, fifteen is um, you know. Um, you're a guest and you feel that you know you got good service and everything's okay so 15 percent just because you know that's sort of norm and so mm -hmm. there's no reason to go below the norm you, you know, server didn't mess up and then server did uh better than you expected and you had a really great time 18 and then 21 is just you you know your mind was blown by fantastic service and so at 21 is a little bit over the top yeah now here's something else do i tip you on the tax too do people uh, look at the total of the bill, well, he's subtract getting, the tax, he's getting, and then... He's getting, no, I'm not asking about what he's getting. I'm asking... No, he's what, getting taxed on before tax. I wasn't asking that question, though. Oh, okay. He These knows, are he knows, issues. He, he, he knows what I was asking. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So but do qu people tip 21% on the tax after the tax? On the, the tax total, cut or total, before? total bill. Usually, That's my question. It, it, usually it is the total, total, total bill. Okay. Um, sometimes there has been a, uh, a formula that people use with um, the tax, doubling the tax, but that's pretty much the only thing that where the okay. tax can, gets involved. Okay. It's usually just the complete total. After tax. After tax, the, the final. The, so that's really the what the number price of that we experience. should be looking at. When I open up right. the thing and I'm trying to decide the tax, I should look at 21%, 20% at the bottom line. The bottom exactly, line. Exactly, the very bottom, bottom line. line. The very yeah. bottom line. Okay, that's what you, you know, some restaurants have, you know, gone ahead and put little, like, tip guides and things like that. But, you know, when you're, when you're prof honestly, when you're a professional and you're doing this and you do it well, you know, you just want people to have a good time. And, and do what they feel comfortable with because you know, times are hard. So, you know, people in this industry, we understand that. And so we're just glad people are, are coming, coming to the in. restaurants. So Incidentally, thank you. was it busy at uh, Isabella's? Yes, tonight? it was extremely busy because of the marathon. Uh -huh. People running, running up and down the wharf and comparing sneakers and sweating profusely <laughs> and getting themselves psyched up listening to a lot of, you know, the Rocky theme. We heard that in the, in the, in the air. They're running. But, um, it was pretty. It was really good to see. So people, you know, s sticking to their diet. They weren't doing their desserts, 
and there are some ladies who were a little bit upset about that. You can see a little tear in their eye because I walked by them with a dessert tray. One lady spit at me because <laughs> I was going to bring the dessert tray. She saw me from 20 feet away and said, okay, no. I know you want the deep fried cheesecake, but we're skipping it this weekend. Oh, that's right. You guys have the deep fried cheesecake. Have, have you ever uh, heard of anything? Oh, my uh, goodness. It is yeah. a happy thing. So what you go is you go there and you order a salad. Right. <laughs> right? Yep. And then you have the cheesecake. That's fried their plan, but they always end up getting a big, amazing meal anyway. And then they still, you know, we talk about the desserts, but we don't get too disappointed. But Well, thank you for those tips. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, you for, for the tips. And, 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 and one of the things, too, is that for the people that are of yesteryear, I've seen this happen, where they just pull out $2 and leave $2 or $3. That happens, I, too. And you're like, you know what? Come on. This is modern day. It's time to look at the percentage. And because you as a waiter get, because I know our, my sister's a waiter. Gets wait, taxed. You get actually income taxed on the percentage of the full amount of the bill. Whether or so not. So whether or not the people leave the tip, right? Correct, yeah. correct. It's part of the paperwork. So that yeah. really, it's not just that you get short that income, but you're actually getting shorted more because you're going to have to pay tax income tax You know tax what? We're going right? to make, we're going to run you for president yes, thank of, you. of the uh, yes, form a servers union. union. That would be fantastic. You're going to be the president of the union well, and we just get things really? moving I into shape. I just, I know how hard it, how hard it is. And you know what? I happened one time, and I'm not afraid to say this because I think it's important that everybody knows it's okay to do this. One time I came into a restaurant recently in Fresno, frazzled because I was trying to find this location. So I got there and the wait waitress had uh, made an error. It was really an illogical error. Okay. I really thought she should have known better. And I was a little bit not, I was a little edgy. But I realized, you know, I'm going to have her for the rest of the evening. So I went back privately and I said, you know, I'm sorry I was edgy. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have been as edgy. Even Don't though, take it out on the server. Even though I knew she should have known better. But really, there's no need to be really edgy and rude to people. And if you find yourself crossing a line, there's nothing wrong with apologizing to people. Yeah, have you ever had that happen? I've, I've had that happen. And has I've, anyone ever and, apologized? And I've, yes, and I've yeah. apologized. You know, okay. Because I think everyone, you know, human beings get down to the idea of uh, the bad day. It's true. And it goes both ways. Yes. It's and true. the best Everybody thing that is that. phenomenal for you to do something like that. That yeah. is that is wonderful and gracious and She looked at me like she didn't know what to say. She's like, Yeah, okay. no, that's that's a dream come true. That's a conversation. <laughs> and I didn't want her messing her food up. <laughs> that's the I fear factor. Our... <laughs> I've I've seen that. I've seen that. Some that does happen. People get the fear of look and the at, right after they've said yeah. or they've tapped their glass <laughs> or raised it and shaken it from fifty feet away. You know? Is that rude? <laughs> to raise your glass? <laughs> How do you get someone's attention? I love all people. I how do, love all well, how people do you get someone's let attention? Let all customers. Let, let me give, you know, I gave a tip to Gina Renee last what? week about the bottles and the water and the, the, um, the, the water softener or water filter. I'm going to give a, a tip to uh, our good friend Matt here. What? If you give your name yes. to your uh, customer. I'm Matt the waiter. Uh, I'm, I'm Matt the waiter. You know what? It really does break down the barrier True. because then they call you Matt. Right. The whole evening that they're there. So instead of going, hello. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, sir. Uh, <laughs> we don't really mind that, but you're right, though. It does break a barrier, and it is and it is good to do that. And I've had people introduce themselves after I do that, and genuinely, and their children, and say hi because they feel good about that. And they'd be like, okay, this is what we're doing. We're all yeah. here. This is the fellow, he and Diana, you want to ask for. And then there's uh, also Jamie. Jackie. 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 Why Jackie. do I call her Jamie? The queen. The queen I always of all call her Jamie. She looks like Jamie to me. Yes. Jamie. Ja uh, yeah. Those Jackie. three. Jackie. Jackie. You go. You go to Isabella's or latitude. or latitude. You ask for Diana, Jackie, or Matt, and I'm telling you, you're gonna get Diana. All the service. servers. Thank you. Thank all the servers, though, uh, in difference, they're all great. They, they are, are actually. Great. That's. They're, you but you know what? You're gonna get a comedy though. routine if you go. With I'm gonna Matt. try my best. You're gonna. Well, get... even when I'm not trying, the service is always a comedy yeah, routine. Yeah. Like <laughs> I mentioned last week, you never know what where your food will land. Well, listen. Let's if... let, let's uh, talk about the photo that you took, Dave. Uh, let's. This was the original photo last week. This is the original one last week, and we showed this on. Later took it somewhere in Monterey. It's a part of a mural. Yep, and we don't we we didn't know where it was, and no one guessed correctly uh, the emails that well, we got. Well, it's kind in. of hard, but that's why we're doing this. Yeah. Really, we're going to familiarize our audience with all of these little uh, spots around okay. the peninsula. Okay, so now here is so so here is the big uh, picture picture of what and that then was. Matt has the information now. While Dave leaves that on the screen. <laughs> Matt, can you read that about what this is? I will. 
Okay. In the heart of downtown Monterey, California, is the Monterey Conference Center, and on the building facing the corner of Del Monte and Pacific Streets, the Monterey Mural, a huge tile mural by noted artist Guillermo Bill Wagner Granizzo. It was put in place in 1984. The mural is packed with images of the history of the Monterey Bay Area, from Native Americans to Spaniards to farmers to suburbanites. You could stand and stare for hours, it's true, it's beautiful. The images appear historically from left to right, with a huge ship dominating the left center. And it is truly beautiful. It is beautiful. All it's like mosaic style, little tiles. And, and they is. just re, I, I read somewhere else, they just re-finished uh, that a few years ago, a couple years ago, spent thousands of dollars to really uh, refurbish. refurbish and refine the and tile. polish up all polish of the tiles the tile. just for preservation purposes. That is beautiful. And that's on the corner of what streets? Um, Del Monte and Pacific. So Del it's, that's, it's Pacific. facing it's facing there right on Pacific there. If you're driving and towards New Monterey, it's going to be on the right-hand side yeah. before yeah. you would... Uh, and yeah. we drove by it the other day. It's, it, it's the Monterey Conference and Center. And you know what? The, the sad thing is you're going by so fast that you probably don't even notice it. Well, you will now. Yeah. That's why so we're when doing you guys, this. When you guys go by, you know, park the car... Get out of the car. Go take a look at the beautiful that's the history. mural. Now, we have another one. Okay, so now we're going to get ready for uh, tonight's. And here's tonight's. And that is a mural on a building somewhere in Monterey. Mm -hmm. And it's a piece of a mural. And yeah. if you want to check our website out on Monday, Tuesday-ish, we'll have that post, this photo posted so you can look at it again. And, and then, then if the you can find that mural... And you're uh, and you send us the email and you're you get a prizer as Gary. Yeah, calls you'll it. get a prizer from uh, from Matt uh, and uh, uh, to Teeny be and um, to be announced to be announced and and Isabella's or latitudes. Right. Okay. Right. And Fantastic. speaking of which, if we can come back, can you hand me that stack of cards? Yes. If anybody would like a coupon. Postcard. This is a postcard that we sent out on Coastal TV Network. You can't. Dave's going to adjust the the camera here for me. Put it in front of the cup, and uh, he can get a tight shot there. Okay, ten dollars off your yeah. your second dinner entree, or five dollars off your second lunch entree. Oops, sorry, I'm reading and I'm moving. Um, send us an email through kymbtv.com, and we'll be sure that Teeny. Yeah. Dave's setting the camera right now. We'll be sure that Teeny uh, gets this to you. We have a whole stack of these. And this isn't one of those you draw and you win. Anybody can have one of these. So let us know. Let us know, and we'll, get them, we'll get them to you. And you can go we in and see stack of them too. Matt the Waiter. Yes, and Matt make sure you ask so for we'll, Matt. We'll Thank see you. you next week, and you can give us the answer on our new photo contest. I can't wait. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. All, right. All right. Thanks for coming, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank okay, you. let's get back to the music. Monterey on tonight. It's uh, about 17 minutes after 11 o'clock. We're here till midnight every Saturday night right here on Comcast Channel 19. What do you show, honey? And I show, well, let's see, we did Rod Stewart, we did Peter Gabriel, we did Elton, we did The Queen, and we did The White Snake, and now we're going to do Huey, Huey Lewis. Lewis. Yay. And I want a new drug. <laughs> Here's Huey. And that's love, by the way. <laughs> Okay, they are our sponsor for this hour, Jose and Gregorio at Jose's Underground on Wave Street. That's right down by Cannery Row. Yes. And then the other location in Seaside at Broadway and Del Monte. That's right, and they have wonderful Mexican food. On Thursday nights, Jose's Underground, which is the one block up from Cannery Row on Wave Street, has karaoke. And that sounds like a lot of fun. A dollar beers and no cover charge, 21 or over. Doors are open at 8 p.m., and it's from 8 to 10 p.m. And then on Sunday night, tomorrow night, they have Granite Earth, Razzo Hoof, and Price Country. And that's $5 cover, 21 or over. Doors open at 8. And Wednesday night is, if you like the music playing tonight, uh, 80s night. A dollar beer, DJ Jackson, no cover, 21 or over. Doors open at 8 p.m. We should go down there and plug our show. That sounds great. 80s music videos right here on Monterey on Tonight. We're live at the KYMB TV studios. We do this every Saturday night, and I'm Gary. And I'm Jules, and upcoming very soon, we're going to play one more song, and we have Sarah Nicole here with our MGM movie reviews. And we just played, what did we just play? We played the Go-Go's, George. No, that was Wham, honey. Oh, we played Wham? Yeah, oh, Go-Go's right. is Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, we, pay, we played. You know what it is? Is because he said, wake me up before you go-go. <laughs> so you I was looking at the He was reading fast. <laughs> uh, wake me up before you go-go uh, is a song by the English pop duo Wham. 
And who was in Wham? George, George Michael. Michael. Broke away from Ram. That was 1984. And before we had Wham on, we had Loverboy and Lucky Ones. And before that, of course, Huey Lewis and I Want a New Drug. And what's coming up next so we can get Sarah on before well, we let's, go off Well, let's go uh, to uh, one, of, uh, one of my favorite groups from the 80s. Oh, mine too. The Cars. Yes, I love this it. This one, one is, is this? called Drive. Oh, pretty song. And when we come back, we'll have Sarah, we'll have Sarah Nicole on. So we'll see you in a few minutes. That is The Cars and uh, Drive. What a beautiful song. What year was that in, baby? Uh, the Cars go down to, let's see, the music video for the songs besides... Okay, 1984? Car, 1984. Peaking at number three. And the gal in that video was only 19. And, uh, was Rick, that like his wife? Okay, sick. no. He was already married at that time. Oh. And so he married uh, the gal who was in that video. And you know what, the gal, the gal that was in that video went on to win the highest paying modeling contract, a $6 million contract with Estee Lauder. Yeah. And she also was um, co-starring with Tom Selleck in the film Her Alibi, if you remember that film. Yeah. Yeah. And she turned down a, an opportunity to be James Bond's girl in A Golden Eye in 1995. Uh, because she was uh, bu busy. And the video was directed by Timothy Hutton. Oh, go figure. Yeah, really? how about that? Hi, hey, Sarah. Sarah. Hi. Uh, Sarah Nicole, who is our daughter, is here. Gorgeous. I can't believe how fast Not she's related grown up. to them. No. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're my daughter. You grew up. They don't fight like this normally. <laughs> <laughs> we get along. You we guys get are along funny. Great. So. I'm happy to be related to you. Oh, it's, how nice. it's a fun family business. Well, yeah. Thank yeah. you. And get, you get to be on TV. Yeah. How about that? So. Anyway, here we are. It's Monterey on tonight. Sarah's here with her weekly movie review. From uh, our channel right here. From, from the MGM Movie Library. And what's happening this coming week? We have some great movies on this next week, and I'm okay. so excited. Um, first of all, the first thing I noticed was a movie called Pieces of April. Uh, that's from, it's a recent movie from 2003, and it's Katie Holmes. Oh. And it's such a cute movie. I picked it out because I love the movie. It's on Monday at 5 o'clock and again at 7 o'clock, so back to back. That's Pieces of April, Monday at 5 Have you seven. seen the movie? Yep. You have. It's and so, so cute. you highly recommend yep. it. Yep. And it's with Katie Holmes and um, Pat Patricia Clarkson. It's a comedy. It's really cute. So check that out. And then um, at on Tuesday at uh, 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon, we have... The Old Casino Royale from 1967 with David Niven and Deborah Kerr. We say classic Ooh, here. Classic, old. yeah. We say old. We say classic instead. No. Classic. Not old. We, we say don't classic. say old. We say no, classic. No, is that, Gary, do you remember that movie? The old casi or uh, classic Casino Royale? The classic Royale? Ca Casino Royale, I think I do, but I don't is know. Is that related to the new James Bond? I don't. I think it's is a it spoof. Is it a spoof? Yeah. I think David oh, Niven, okay. did he play James Bond in that movie, in that Casino Royale? David Niven? I'm not sure. It's too long ago for me to remember, Sarah. 1967? <laughs> that's a long time ago. That was like yesterday for uh, you, Gary. No, no I kidding. was around, but that's a long time ago. <laughs> well, anyways, it's a great movie on at 2.30 on Tuesday. And then right after that, we have a back-to-back -back movie with John Candy um, and Marielle Hemingway from 1991. It's called Delirious. Ah. So it's a comedy with John Candy. Um, so that's at 5 p.m. and then again at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. And then um, on Wednesday, we have a Burt Reynolds, two Burt Reynolds movies back to back. Um, Good old Burt. Sam Whiskey. And this is um, from 1969, Burt Reynolds and Clint Walker. And that's on Wednesday at 11 a.m. And then right after that is uh, Malone or Maloney. Malone. Malone. Malone? I thought so. With uh, Burt Reynolds and Cynthia Gibb from 1987, an action movie. And we've highlighted that one before. That's always on our station. It's a good movie. And isn't Robert, I heard, saw in there, Robert Mitchum and Burt Lancaster are both on this week. Those are, you probably don't recognize those names. No, but they're classic. Yeah. They are classic. Classic actors. There's classic actors. Movie, word of since, the day. Since passed away, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Faithfully. Faithfully, yes. And then there's uh, always The Outer Limits, my one of my favorites. Overnights. 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 Patty on, Duke. Well, Outer Limits are on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. And I like Outer Limits. Even but though it's kind of you cheesy. You may not know that Jules is kind of a sci-fi nerd. Yep. <laughs> she always has been. 
it's, she, but she, she likes um, she loves Star Twilight Wars, Zone. Twilight Zone. <laughs> Twilight. My daughter would know it, right? Star Trek. Those yeah. are good shows, though. I'm glad you like it. Okay. And then uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m., we have a movie called Wind Talkers with Nicolas Cage and Adam Beach from 2002. That's based on a true story. It's a war movie. But, but it's based on a true story about the uh, a Native American tribe their language being uh, a little bit uh, adjusted to use as code talkers for during the war so they could pass codes along and then not be broke. Is that why it's called Wind Talkers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No, it's actually a really interesting, it's it's a historical movie, but it's very interesting. And there's some great actors. Lou Diamond Phillips, she said, right? Lou, Lou Diamond, Diamond Phillips. Say. Yeah. yeah, Lou Diamond Phillips is right next to uh, uh, Nicolas Cage in that movie. Well, I'm going to watch it. I've, I've never seen it, but I know it's supposed to be a really good movie. You know what? When I turn these on, it's really hard to, to, to turn on. Actually, Gary's no. kind enough. I've never had this until I was married to Gary. A television set in our kitchen. And it's not very big, but it's Just there. Just a 19-inch. And when I'm cooking and I'm in there, because I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, you know, it's really good to have it on. And these movies are like, you get hooked on them. We and leave it's it on okay. our channel to make sure it's on the air. Exactly. Yeah. It's okay for us to watch TV all day because that's what we do for a living. That's but right. I'm really <laughs> glad so that to. there are movies that we like. And you know, yeah. one of the things about the MGM movies is we have this TV network did very, very well in the Nielsen uh, rating survey. We, it, said we saw the report. Did. And um, one of the reasons is it appeals to as many or more men as women. And it's very rare for a network to that's do. That's true. In most networks appeal, That's they go true. more towards the women, but but the this TV network is dividing line. So it's really good for couples that want to watch TV together. You'll have something that both both will like. So let me uh, before we uh, get on with what okay. uh, we're going to do here, uh, I want to just make sure that those folks that are watching now will send us an email because our drawing is going to be coming up after the next video. Okay. We're going to be giving away three items tonight. Correct. Correct. We're going to give away the $25 gift certificate to uh, First Impressions. Yes. We're going to be giving away tickets to the um, Lighthouse Cinema. Yes. And we're going to be giving away the $25 gift certificate to Captain Ben. And speaking of Lighthouse Cinema, since we're talking about movies, I have a form right here. I'd like to go over the movies at the Lighthouse Cinemas this week, courtesy of Ben Castillo. Ah. Date Night, The Backup Plan, The Last Station, and Kick, and I don't think I Kick can... Fanny. Kick Fanny. You yeah. can't say it on TV, the re- which is right It's an animal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the so Bible. That's, Kick that's, donkey. That's, Kick that's, donkey. How's so, that? So that's what's actually playing at the Lighthouse Cinemas. And I don't know how often our viewers have been able to watch, but Sarah Nicole's been a regular feature with our movie reviews uh, the last several weeks since we've been doing so, since we started since we our show, show. She was on the first show. But, you know, she had her first experience at 14 years old. You're not <laughs> you showing it. don't remember. It. You're not showing it. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. No, so, oh, you're is. not oh, showing it. So take gonna, my hand and show. This is no. Sarah, 14 oh, years no. old. We're going to show Sarah. Oh. Hi, I'm Sarah. Stop Stop play. Okay, try well, that again. We're gonna tr- we're gonna I try did that not again. approve of this. Try that in another. Well, you can, can you, Dave? No, in it's God machine. telling you to not play this right now because <laughs> karma Don't comes back that. around. No, it's an old DVD. You know what? I really think, though, Sarah, it really is good for viewers to know yes. where our roots are. Don't you even think that last night J Lo was on George Lopez? Yep. And they showed something that she did right from the beginning. It's good to show where roots are coming from. Absolutely, so. and you did a great job. So well, I have a couple more movies I'd like to highlight okay. while you're getting that going. Okay, okay go ahead. Um, Dave's going to try and get it now going. Now that I'm beat right embarrassed <laughs> because you're about to show something that I do not want anybody to see. Oh, yes. Well, we didn't have it. to have a release form from our daughter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> go ahead. Thursday what else do you have at 5 p.m., we have three Robocop movies back to back Robocop 1, 2, really? and 3. What day? Um, Thursday, starting at 5 p.m. Okay. okay. So Robocop movies from 87, 1990, and 1993. So that's our Thursday night lineup. Friday, um, Robocop again. Okay. Cool. Starting at 3. Wow. 1, 2, and 3. So um, that's the highlights for the week. Thursday and Friday night, we're playing Robocop. Um, my favorite pieces of April back to back on Monday night. Wonderful. Okay. Do you think you can get it to roll this time, Dave? Um, Want to give it a try? You can give it nope. a try. It's not. It, okay. Nope, well, let's give working. it a try, and if it doesn't work, we'll get it ready for next week. We know how to fix that. Oh. Go ahead and try and roll it. Guy Haberman. Okay, okay that's Go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Sarah Schoonover with the Not Just Guy Haberman Show. Tonight we're at Edwards checking out the hot movies that are playing right now. Um, Shark Tale was recently released October 1st, directed by Vicki Jensen, starring the really great characters, the voices of Will Smith, Renee Zellweger, Robert De Niro, Angelina Jolie, and Jack Black. It was a really cute movie. Well, don't take my word for it. Let's see what other people thought of it. Hi, what is your name? Heather. Hi, and I'm Sarah. And what did you think of Shark Tale? It's a one two. Wow. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is the light really that bright? Yeah, we remember we had to bring in somebody else. We have to redo Wimbledon. We are doing Wimbledon. I mean, we have to redo Shark Tale. We've got to someone else. Do, do, do Wimbledon now. Okay? Okay. <laughs> wow, I'm totally out of it right now. Time you're ready. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Sarah Schoonover with the Not Just Guy Haberman Show, and tonight we're at Edwards Theaters catching up on the hot new movies that have come out recently in the past few weekends. I just saw Wimbledon. It was a great movie directed by Richard Lockrane, starring the adorable Kirsten Dunst and Paul Bettany. The tagline, she's the golden girl, he is the long shot, and together they make the perfect match. This is a, um, a British film. It's a romantic comedy. I think you'd really like it. But don't take my word for it. Let's talk to other people and see how you liked it. What's your name? Heather. Hi, Heather. And what did what movie did you see tonight? We just saw Wimbledon. And what did you like about that movie? I, th the part I liked was when he's going up the window to see Kirsten Dunst, and then he looks down and the dog starts barking, and he says, "I'll jump." It'll be on your conscience, and the dog stops. Yeah, that was funny. I was cracking up. I've always wanted a guy to climb through my window, too. So what would you give this movie from a 1 to a 10? 10. 10. <laughs> yeah, it was a 10, huh? Well, thank you guys very much for being here tonight, and thank you, Edwards, for showing this great show tonight for us. And now we're going to go back to the studios with you, Guy. Ah, uh, how about that? I know you're upset, Sarah, but If I would have known so you cool. were going to be upset like this, I wouldn't have played it. But you know what, honey? You have to expect I need it. a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? That was just that. That was when you were 14. 14. 14, a long time ago. And you know what? This is why Sarah is as good as what she is. I've always Sarah. wanted a guy to climb through my window. <laughs> <laughs> At 14. At 14, yeah. And Mom was guarding that window. <laughs> yeah, Mom was guarding the window. Thank you so much for letting us play that. Oh, I didn't let you play practical it. Practical <laughs> joke on you. I had no choice in the matter. <laughs> Well, you know what? This is preparing you because when Jay Leno has you on, yep. I guarantee you he will find a way to get a hold of it. Jay Leno is a he. Yeah. Jay Leno. Yeah, Jay, oh. the, the Jay, Jay Leno, Leno show. Never mind. Yeah. The, when they when David Letterman or, or David or Letterman or or, uh, <laughs> or George Jay. Lopez. Whenever or they have people on, they always, Conan O'Brien. They always dig out these old videos, so we've got a kind of. A, <laughs> we've got an old video of Sarah. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to go to our next song. Yeah, we're going to play. Uh, we've got actually my boyfriend's breaking one, up with me one after video. this episode. No, he's not. He's going to love you more because this is our room. We're going to play one video here. This is Peter Schilling and Major Tom, and then we're going to come back and have our drawing. Okay. Because we're almost out of time. Okay, one song here. Yep. And then we'll be back. Okay, See here we go. View. Major Tom. Okay, Major Tom, Peter Schilling, and uh, that was uh, from what year? That was from 1983, and we're going to have our drawing. We're going to have our right drawing now, on. and thank, thank you all so much for the uh, emails tonight. Uh, the candy bowl, as uh, as Jules would say, it has all of your emails in here. And now we're going to have our executive producer, Catherine Nagel, come in. And Catherine, if you will draw out three tonight. Okay. First of all, this going to say who this is for first. First of all. This is for a $25 gift certificate to First, First impressions. impressions Party and Supply. Okay, so dig out, dig down and dig around because uh, we have a pretty good sized jar with all of our viewers' names. So the first one is um, Ooh. Yuko. Yes, Yuko. This is a new viewer. A Caught new your viewer? show and noticed that you like Outer Limits. Thanks for having a great channel. There we Congratulations. go. Congratulations. We will be contacting you and sending you your $25 gift certificate. So now number two. Number two is tonight. this is for, uh, wait, hold on. This is for two movie tickets to Lighthouse Cinemas. Okay, okay. two movie tickets. Hold on. 
<laughs> you just, that poor viewer, that poor viewer just <laughs> got robbed. Hopefully, all right, this is Joy Anderson. Congratulations, Joy. Is tickets. babysitting her granddaughters tonight? Is that I what she said? Great. No, this is, oh. I could, yeah, actually, I could make it, yeah. Okay. But, but okay. so anyway, two Enjoy. light house and, and one more for This is for tonight. the $25 gift certificate to Cap Men's Captain at the Benz. America Tin Cannery. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And this is Joyce Garrison. Great. So that is. Thank you is, for watching, Joyce. We've got three winners tonight. Yes. And she. Uh, she wins the. Tw the uh, the $25 gift certificate to Captain, Cap Benz. Captain Benz. See, every time, folks, during our show, if you send us an email through kybtv.com, then you get entered into our drawing, and we're on from 8 to midnight every Saturday night. And, we are. And we will be back next Saturday night with more music, less talk, <laughs> More guests. We actually have some exciting guests. We have Gloria George. We do. Got to confirm with her. Right. We've got a couple of more. The next two weeks, we've had some great guests tonight. In the next two weeks, we've got them coming on. We so, really do. Yeah. We've, we are uh, so thankful to all of our guests who have been here on the show. And what we'd like to do is uh, close out tonight with a great uh, Cindy Lauper music video. This is the one that uh, kind of uh, puts Cindy on the map. This and was with uh, that, we're this going was uh, to say goodnight. well. This was shot in the summer of 1983. It cost less than thirty-five thousand dollars, largely due to a volunteer cast, and free of loan. And this is the one where Lou Abano plays Lopper's father, while her real mother Katrine played herself. So anyway, so enjoy. with that, yep. Good night, Jules. Good night, Gary. Good night, Good night everyone. everyone. See you next week.